me and Amazing Fire are actually already in Dinland for the, for the 50 ones. We'll start from there. Uh, JP and Cypher will come out of England with the uh, orange flight. Um, the blue flight. Or not England, sorry, France. Okay. So the big question then would be when we got funding, then people will. So where we can rendezvous with all us guys? Yo, so, Viper. Um, Fee Camp is a decent army. It's what we used yesterday when we had uh, some aircraft from France and some from England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viper, yeah. can you turn your engine down, dude? This shit's like loud as hell. Mm, how many uh, fuel do we have to, to, to take? Oh, yeah, we, let, let's first uh, look on the route which we're going to take. So, Merlin, you said you have a good ingress. So, from the one I often use, uh, from Fee Camp, if you go 120, so it takes you north of Rouen, and then when you're level with the, um, the last bend in the river, uh, you turn south for Evro or San Andre or whatever. And that way you, you're skirting north of the main fighter corridor, which is coming out of Paris and um, Evro. You skirt north of that and you skirt north of Rouen. So I think it was 120. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. So maybe have a look into the map here on my screen. So 120 would put us north from Rouen, exactly, north from the flag, and pretty much exactly north from Evro. Yeah, and then once you get past Rouen, you just need to, it's its a 15 mile run, so you just need to do the maths on how long it takes, so. Yeah, then we had a run, so magnetic 187, roundabout, it would be, so we will go over, ah yeah, that would be good, because here we have a large lake, more or less, and we have a larger wood and a city, ah yeah, before we cross here, the the river that is a good point to to navigate yeah. and then we hold ourselves let's say west from that river keep on going keep on going and then we should hit more or less directly F right nearly the same route that we used uh, on our <laughs> almost yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So is there any additional navigation aid which we could use somewhere here um, below after we left the river? Yeah, we could follow the train line a little bit and then we have that river that goes towards Evro city proper. You see that? You see it? There's Here's a the river that, line, yeah. yeah, exactly. And then that, you have the river that snakes along a little bit. Here, that one which goes yeah, 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 yeah. city. And then... I mean, you can, you don't have to follow it, but you could just keep it as reference and you can see the town is quite large. Exactly, so once we hit that lake here, there's that river, that one we could follow visually. Exactly, yeah, like we did on our, uh, uh -huh. our raid, we fo followed the same river and then we followed the railway lines to our target that was near the Seine. So once we get close to Afro City, just need to turn southeast somewhere here yeah, somewhere here and then we could make our attack run uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay I'm not so sure if this is a good idea because every should have a triple A yes I believe it does as well um, every, every actor's uh, field has yeah the, uh, but not only the effort also the town yeah, the, the town should have 20 mil and a the the advantage of the of Evro is that the town is in the valley and the field is up on a plateau kind oh, of yes. it, how about first, there's like 30 meters elevation between the town and the, the airfield so you can avoid the town by staying low oh, sounds good so, so shall we follow the river visually or shall we really try to make a good navigation, stick to the compass, fly directly here south. 
it's up to you. I generally favour flying off compass headings. Uh, just I, I like flying straight lines off compass headings and using speed time calculations to figure out where I am. Um, yeah. I I'd, I'd advise compass really. I would just yeah. as long as you have a first reference point that you know where you're starting from. And just take the compass, because if you start taking like a train, you won't know exactly when to stop uh, following the train track, and you're gonna be like, "Oh shit, where's the river? Oh yeah, man, it's like that, that, that. It's, it's behind us." And yeah, so yeah. compass is the way to go. We just have okay. to uh, watch for enemy fighters coming in from yeah. the east, because they, you know, that's the line of ingress for them in that area. That actually brings yep. up my own question: Do you want the uh, fighters to bring ordnance, or do you want us to go clean? Uh, we're we're gonna go clean our major. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, Fighters are strictly cover this time. Yeah, uh, you wanna? We have to take um, fuel tanks. Uh, I've never flown that that far with the fifty one. So the Mustang no. probably not. The Judge will. Okay. Hey, bro. Welcome back. Making here some notes. So we got from Fecamp to that small town here, whatever it's called. We got a heading of 122 magnetic, so magnetic track 122, and distance 37 miles. Okay, would it be easier just directly towards Uruma, because that would be um, pretty much. Um, we flag could be there as well, though. It's a, oh, okay. it's a lot of flag, but but yeah. we could we could pop up a little bit sometimes, or one could a little mm -hmm. bit pop out, pop up, check. Okay, where's the route? And if we're behind it, then we also know, okay, yeah, now we can there's, go uh, there's a nice valley east of Rouen that you can follow south-west-ish, uh, south-southwest. Like, you 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 pass Rouen on the north side, and then northeast of Rouen, there's a little valley, valley that uh, leads south-southwest, and that makes a turn to the east, um, north of the little airfield at Rouen. And then you pass the airfield on the north side, and after that you hit a town with a church where you can turn south and just follow until the, uh, you reach the sand and the lakes. Will Willow's raised a good point. There's actually no slots at Evro on this mission either. It's oh. an active field, but there are no slots there. So Creel might be a better target. It's further, but it might be a better target. Mm. That's where the MW50 109s start, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's the most, in looking at the slots, it's, it's Creel or Bonet are the two best. Fields to hit for. Yeah, Creel looks like. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, I, I confirm. Creel, Creel's quite an easy one to hit because the fuel's a very distinctive building on the edge of the field. Quite a lot, quite a longer flight though. It's, it is much further. Um, but I could imagine that a lot of guys will use Evreu as, as the yes. arming spot. Yeah. Yeah, so probably. it would be also very good to hit that one. Uh, there's also Brogli that's very active because it has uh, player deliverable slots for Antons. And it's a quick Request jump refueling. from the uh, Fales AO to Request Brogli. Rearming. That's the other, op make more that's sense. other op option. Would it? You could use uh, Le Havre as some, some sort of ingress point or still fee camp. So just to be sure, more, our objective is to bomb the runway so they can't take off anymore. Yeah. Uh, fuel supplies as well. Fuel so supply like hangars. Yeah. yeah. Then then so. Brunei would most likely make or Br Brobia or Brunei. I think both are active in this mission. Eight, yeah. Both. both, both yeah, that, 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 that might make sense to do, do five Marsies on Brunei and yeah. five to Broly, so the forces split. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Right. We could orange and blue could attack different ones. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they are close together. That. Yeah. That. That's a good plan. That's yeah. a really good plan. I and one. one small question is: Are we completely off the subject of landing somewhere in the Allies and rearming and going for a second run, probably? Um, uh, not no, going to have time for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I just, just want to be sure. Okay. Um, after the, after the attack run, I mean, we, I guess we're gonna um, still. Merge over Fikamp, then head south towards Brunei and uh, Brogli. Um, you want to split forces beforehand, like for example, like somewhere over Trickville, or do you want to stay together over uh, until Brunei and then uh, head for Brogli? If we hit Fikamp and go um, southeast towards that second bend in the river, the one that's southbound, 
CQ38, or do you mean the... CQ27. If we hit that river bend and track due south, that'll put us past Trekeville, mm -hmm. um, and and almost in a clear line south for the targets. Is yeah. Trickville even open? Trickville's almost never open. No, it's no, not. aren't open, but if it's, 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 never, never, uh, it's a good... Uh, re, re, then we could re also use that river you see here. So if we aim from Fee Camp to that river mouse here, Very then true. go more or less a straight line no? along here for a certain amount of time, and then turn south, hit Burnay. So the one group hits Burnay, the other one follows the road here down to Proclia. On that and don't, don't even yeah. need to follow the road. The, the airfields yeah. are so close together. Yeah, yeah. 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 See it, yeah. Yeah. The, the problem with that small river is that it's absolutely crawling with low caliber AA. Uh, there's, there's one at the mouth of it normally, but other than that, you're fine. So I yeah, think you know, east, and... east of that uh, uh, river mouth, we should be fine, right? Just east. Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah. So why why would you be uh, searching for that river mouth? But just for like checkpoint, to make sure you're on good track, or like yeah, is it yeah. Okay, yeah, exactly. But but we could also use here that river yeah that's river bed that. which uh, which you uh, just proposed. Then from there, stick south, pick up that river, follow it for a certain amount of time southeast, and then yeah, there's at the at the southern point of that yeah. river, there's like a railway yard. Yeah. From which we could um, turn southwest directly to um, Bernay, which would be from that um, that uh, train station is is at CQ35 at the southern west edge, and then we could just um, head two to four to two yeah. zero. It would would directly bring us towards Broglie, on to which we could um, drop some bombs, and from there basically just. It's a straight line, yeah. Straight in a straight yeah. line, go over Broglie. So yeah, like, like one... this, because it's not yeah. line of sight for everybody. Yeah. We're yeah. away and from the. Uh, so so we could drop those um, in a you know almost like a line abreast formation. Mm -hmm. The, the Mozzie could like drop uh, one or two bombs each. I don't know how how many bombs the Mozzie can carry. And just from Bernay, just from Bernay, you know, keep on flying two two zero, and bomb Broglie. The only, only problem let, with this, the only problem with this don't let us only bombing two uh, bombs and then the second time. So then we have to do two runs. Let us do uh, a few guys doing the first airfield mm -hmm. and, the, and uh, the other ones the second airfield. Okay, well, I agree. Then, yeah. Then we could do, you know, just a suggestion. Uh, one group bombs Vernet, okay, and the, sec and the second group um, does, um, that stays behind. Okay, does uh, a, a, a cannon run basically right over Bernay. You know. And then, then we run, ran past that. The first group does the attack with guns, and the second group that did the attack run on Bernay with guns goes in on Broglie with, with bombs. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, that's okay. a good plan. And All okay, right. so let's, let's do Fee Camp to the River Bend CQ27 heading. Yeah. So I just measure it. So it's 161 <clears throat> magnetic. Okay, so we'll do Fee Camp 160, and then we'll head due south from there, pick up the river, follow the river to the rail yard, and then head, uh, what do you say, um, heading was from the rail yard in CQ35. Yep. Three, five. yep. Yeah, then we go south, could... exactly, for magnetic. Mm -hmm. Come on. There it is. It doesn't have to be that precise. Yeah, Just yeah. Need to, need to the zero for, as long as you know uh, where you're it? going. Seven mm -hmm. miles, yeah. And then we follow it to that train station here. Follow it to the train station. That's here, it's 156 for seven and a half. Train station. All right, and from there it's a straight run. Yeah, basically 220. Yeah, 223. Two, two, three, three. Yeah. Roughly there. For a total 15 miles until Proclia. And as I said, we are splitting up. So, um, what's what's our first group? That's blue. So, would you guys, blue, go for Bernay? Orange, go for Proclia with the bombs? 
Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Then from there we could turn. We could all land in Picoville again, right? Yeah, I say three three zero from there is a good uh, good heading egressing. As yeah. long as we're <coughs> yeah. still together. Yeah, I, I like to do. Zero, yeah. yeah, I like to do this. Like, go feet wet between Carburg and Laugh or somewhere, and then head and west. Then, that yeah, works yeah. really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so then the guys from Pico will they need to steer to come to Fee Camp zero eight zero four seventy two miles, and from funding. Oops. Funding, where is funding? Is here. Funding, it would be 152 for 80 miles. So almost, yeah, almost the same. Only 8 miles difference. So we could all start at the same time. And then we should usually be there at the same time. Sounds good. Uh -huh. hey. It definitely works. It's ex that's exactly what we did yesterday. We we had a group coming out of southern England and a group coming out of uh, western Normandy, and we rendezvoused yeah. at the same time. Super, great, great. How long, uh, was, how long was the part from weekend to the riverbank? How many miles? It's like twenty miles. It's about twenty miles. But that's going to be quite a zigzag for for the Mustang group. Flying from Deanland to Newport and then to Fecum. Just saying. So you might take some extra fuel. Yeah, we'll do fine with 60 or 65. This thing can fly for like two and a half hours of that. Okay. Yeah, right. So, so fuel, 100% um, or. 70 should be fine for the mosquitoes. 70, okay. 70, yeah. 70% fuel. That. The last time we ran out of fuel. Um, Right before we want to land, so that was a discussion. That oh, yes, we had a uh, ah, the, we had the difference on the right and the left hand. Yeah. So, so, so why? Uh, so I would do definitely more, if not only seventy. Seventy gives you enough overhead to run one engine at full power all the way back, assuming you lose an engine. Okay. There's no point going less than the default fuel because it takes fuel out of your inner tanks, not your outer tanks. Request refueling. So let's say 70% minimum. Request rearming. 6A, come on, I'll take 80. That's also Copy. Problem, right? So minimum 17 for everyone. And some additional individual buffer is possible on top. Yeah. I'm just going to go for, with the pony, the pony guys. Yeah, that doesn't do about that one. Good. And we take all bombs, right? So four bombs. Reviewing complete. 11 seconds. Uh, Fuse. 11 second fuse. Roger. Uh, right. okay. uh, which bombs are you guys taking? Because there's. I usually take medium capacity bombs. The MC and the GP short tails are functionally identical. They're technically different, but they're functionally should, identical. Should we all just stay on channel Delta uh, SRS? Yes, channel Delta would be good, yeah. Then we are all on SAS, and then we can in Discord we can group to our uh, SAF voice channels. We got one for orange, one for blue, and one for the green flight. One thing with bomb fusing: make sure you plug the tail, because otherwise it will go off. Either it's bugs at the moment. It'll unless you plug the tail, it will go off on contacts. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, again, say again. So for the when you set the fusing on the bombs yeah. in the mosquito. Keep the default nose fuse and set it to 11 seconds, but in the tail fuse, set it to plugged, because otherwise it will go off on contact, even if you don't have the tail fuse armed. Okay. And you'll end up fragging yourself. Okay. Tail fuse plugged or in sharp angeschlossen. And nose fuse would be default at 11 seconds. Yeah. Okay, if so you go to England and jugs out of France, France will go with uh, orange flight and um, most things will go with blue flight until and, we meet up. And with the mozzie bomb fusing, don't get tricked by the apply weapons to linked pylons. Only the 
the wing pylons are linked to each other and the belly pylons are linked to each other, but the wings are not linked yeah. to the belly, so you need to yeah. set the fuse yeah. for, for both. Every single one has a fuse. So, blue. questions for yeah. the planning? As yeah, blue, anyone? So, if the blue flight is gonna take the, the first bomb, complete. okay, that's bombing the broken. Blue is. Okay. Blue, blue is Bernay. Bernay is the first. Yeah, one. sorry, uh, Bernay, that's the first. Uh, that's dropping the bombs first, then doing the gun run on Broglie, and Orange Flight is doing the opposite. Okay, so 351 is cover blue flight. Uh, okay, and so Orange Flight goes to Bogli, and uh, who's going to be the lead? Uh, do we have any role between each other? Who's looking out? Who's leading? Who's navigating? So from the sheet would be Blue no, Flight no, leader no, Wolfrock. No, it's not me. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no. Derby can yeah. lead or Merlin. Yeah, I'll put it. Let's make, let's make it Merlin. Yeah, Merlin has experience with the route, so Merlin. Sure. I'll lead. And we also can blame the other guys, so not, 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 not us. Not us <laughs> uh, if, if you have a guy who knows the area, it's yeah. easier to take to take him as lead because. Good. And yeah, I will then take the lead for Orange Flight. Okay. 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 Um, Good. Just, uh, I'm going to be the annoying one here, um, just to be sure. For um, the bombing run, so I understood uh, for the first run. One color will, will only do guns waiting to go to Bogli. So, for example, the orange orange will go guns first over Bernet, then the bombing will be the blue. Correct. Uh, then we go, as orange, go to Bogli to bomb, or whatever we do, the, the hell we can bomb. And uh, the blue is blue is going to be coming back and going guns on Bogli. Now, what I, what I suggested is we have to, you know, of course, because we have the 11 second um, detonation delay. Okay, so we got some room so that we um, don't come in like in basically two waves and blow each other up. So blue comes in first onto Brogli, drops bombs, and progresses towards Bernay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you got that. Towards, yeah. towards Bernay, drops bombs, progresses towards Brogli. Okay. Blue first drops bombs on Bernay, progresses to Brogli, and does guns on Brogli. Orange okay. comes in like 15 seconds later, once the bombs are off. Um, of blue, guns down Bernay, then progresses to Broglie and drops bombs on um, on Broglie. Okay. So so that we don't interfere with each other. So we some have to like you know manage your flights a bit, so that uh, we have to sp uh, split up. But I think we can do this at the uh, uh, for FICAM uh, on the latest. Okay. And uh, how can we identify the resources to bomb on, for example, Broglie? Like the fuel or ammo, is it, is it like, is it, is it visibly? Broly is a clone of Argentan and Goulet and those fields. Yeah. It's a it's a brown cylindrical tank on stilts just south of the hangars. That's the fuel. The runway and hangars are obviously easy to identify. Okay. I mean, I think the, the objective is just do as much damage as possible. Yeah. Whether we hit fuel or not, it's for the fun, so. Okay, uh, yep. last yeah, question. But we should, we should um, discuss who is bombing what. So, um, in other case, everybody is going on the tank and the first one would be enough. And the, the rest is wasted. So, we should describe, uh, we should uh, decide who is going for the um, for the fuel tank, who is going for the air, for the landing strip and, and so on. Okay. We do that within flights. Yeah, spawns for Broccoli, for example, are the zero, uh, one, two, three, four, five on the south, uh, southeastern end, on the north side of the runway. That's where the player deliverable aircraft spawn. Thing is, we what, what we might have to do is like once we turn into Bro uh, into Brunei, we might have to you know just make a slight curve so we can if you we bomb um, the runway because the runway is like the southeast. Uh, so north south um, direction. Okay, so we can, you know, at least one or two guys that drop bombs on the runway. So that's like um, just totally destroyed. Okay, so that's coming unusable because we if we come in like two to zero, our chances of hitting that runway is going to be slim. Okay. Easy fix from the rail yard. Just go due west and mm. climb, pick up the airfield, <laughs> and then drop in north to south. Oh, Roger. Yeah. Whatever you say. I'm just you know. Just, uh, no, that's a, that's a good call. Because, yeah, you're right. Runway heading is um, north to south. Yeah. 
Is but it, other than man. that, Broglie yet doesn't have like much thing on there, so can just you know just shoot at everything we, we, we find. We do a little bit of both, Rel. To bump other things when the uh, um, runway is already gone. Can they uh, just use for fun and for the fire? <laughs> yeah. Criters on the runway and taxiways will disappear after half an hour or so. Yeah. so. Okay. Oh, know. really? Crit yeah. Critters will just pop out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, it's, it's, time, it's, it's just for fun. Yeah, yeah it's it. for fun. It's for the big formation, camaraderie, and fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make, totally make, right. make things go boom. Doesn't <laughs> matter what, but. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to go boom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shoots friendly mozzie. <laughs> uh, Cypher, you want a 40 or a 30 late? Just make I've sure got that, a 40. Uh, just make, make sure that Bix doesn't appear around here with his Anton. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> He's already That's over the... England now. <laughs> yeah. Quick thing. By the way, uh, I don't have access to the other channel, so whenever Green Flood moves down here, he'll drag me. Yeah, we're all gonna gonna put you down there. Okay, so yeah, okay, I don't uh, have access to orange, so drag it down too, please. Yeah. And so let's make green. Let's make that flight three. I'm gonna drag everyone down. Now uh, that's in the, um, the, the what, what was it? The uh, escorts. So that I'm gonna put you in there, Snow Mexican. Hold on. Then there was Gabriel. There you go. Oops. Huh. Just too much distance to travel here. Uh, here we go. Then there was Cypher, I guess it was. Yes, please. Cypher's in orange flight. Yep. Uh, hold on, I just gotta switch channels because it's like too much distance to travel. Hold on. There you go. And who was also in the 51? Uh, no, the other one in the 47? JP. Ah, there you go. Okay. Okay, flight three. So now Merlin was blue, so yeah, let's put him in flight one. Who is else still blue? It's me. Uh, me. Okay. <coughs> Rolled and Bullfrog. So one is missing. That's me. Roger, okay. The other ones were all in. Flight two. Okay, so we all Willow now just joined. Okay, so the other ones are all. I think I was in blue flight. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. Okay, Grisou, you were let me check. The... So blue flight is Bullfrog, Derby, Wiper, Merlin, Birdman. <laughs> yeah. And that's... from three three second, Emerald was in orange flight. Uh, let me, okay, then that was flight two. Hold on, I just gotta sort stuff. Oh fuck, okay, yeah. Orbiting overhead, is that one of you guys? Mm, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Yeah, me too. Just got a mosquito orbiting over. Um, 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 um. I should be with Balu, Grisou, and Rake. Yeah. I only recognize Grisou and Rake over there. Balu is somewhere else. Up in the yeah, oh, yeah. jump down once he's finished. Everything. All right, I'll, I'll just jump uh, in the other flight and I'll see you guys on SRS. Yeah, we're using channel yeah. D. Yep, channel three. D for Delta. D. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We switch after takeoff, right? Or do we switch on the ground already? We normally get airborne and then switch over just because of the several yeah. rules on um, SRS. I'm taxiing now. Copy, yeah, I see it. I'm going to um, so. okay, taxi behind. We can just file out here in a nice line. 
I have to wait for the rearming. Yeah, no rush. Okay, rearming complete and taxing. Copy. Just leave enough space due to wakes. Yeah. I've maneuvered at the 109 in the jack today. <laughs> With your wakes? <laughs> With my wakes. Was AI though, so no player. AI are funny when they're chasing you, they do that sort of Dutch roll behind and below you all the time. Yeah. You can always spot AI chasing you because they're the ones wobbling around back there. Starting a left hand roll. multiplayer server so anything can happen. Uh, right. Right. Just keep on. going in a straight line uh head south west towards Newport. I'm flight lead overhead. So. Roger, heavy loud and clear. I'm gonna do a simple circle here and GP can hear. Join up with yeah, you guys. Gotcha. 
Delta, right? Yep, so Delta is where we're using our weather flight means that we can get these both sides of this. Should I have my radiators open or closed? I've got them open for the moment just because there's no need for, but once we're down low, we can close them. Okay. I generally open them above 110 and then close them uh, below oh. that. I you forgot can run them the much faster than that. I forgot to adjust the direction indicator. What's your heading on the direction indicator now? 220. 220, okay, that's it's, fine. The Mosquito, you shouldn't need to, it's well calibrated from gold. Okay, cool. The 51 in the front of the box. Roger, we had one small accident. We just might derail a bit. Okay. <laughs> one small accident. Our pilot is dead. <laughs> Thank you. 
left no right. Uh, I'm, I'm still the last guy in the formation. Still yeah, but, but I'm on your right wing. I'm going to start right hand turn. Mm -hmm. A little bit in front. Maybe, I don't know. Have three. one in front and then a group of three. There's one extra person who was buzzing around the airfield. They might try and follow us. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay, so maybe that's him who is on my side. Okay. I'm gonna cut off this uh, turn and then I'll be in formation shortly. So do I. Oh yeah, you're in front of me now. Uh, am I? I'm on your five o'clock ish. Ah, oh, yes, I see you. Okay. Well, did you grab a mosquito out of Huntington? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, in formation with you guys slightly behind. Ah, uh, okay, I think you were supposed to take one out of King Kong, because you're orange, fine. Yeah, I think I was supposed to be moved, but uh, I don't seem to be able to. They tried to move me twice, I'm still stuck in orange. Yeah, you're in flight two with the rest of your flight, you'll just have to tramp across the Atlanta, uh, across the Atlanta, across the channel with us, um, and then link up with your guys once we're at the uh, camp. Yep, copy. Sharks are in the right hand orbit over Peekville. Majestic. I love this thing.
this indeed. I've bought hardware only because I wanted to fly this thing. <laughs> cool. Uh, when, when I was this is uh, too short of a runway at Peakville. Try 200 or two 500s um, instead of a full Bombay. Oh, when the when the pre-order became available, I immediately picked up a Honeycomb Bravo. <laughs> Uh, it's a big throttle quadrant. Oh, you got the throttle quadrant. Yeah, yeah, it's not a replica, but it's it's just a big throttle quadrant with lots of access. So we're giving the Pico wheel one notch right now with the headwind instead of the tailwind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can find some uh, tailwind. That helps. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run out of fuel with all this orbiting. Yeah, I was thinking that it would be smart to have a little bit more fuel. <laughs> it, honestly, we've got plenty. Like I've yeah, done, I've I done, think so. I think I've so. done raids on Paris with less fuel than this. Yeah, I think Probably. so. But Merlin, I, I have a question. Uh, last time we did also a mosquito run from here to Rowan, and I had both engines working normally all the time, um, but my uh, tanks on the right. 3070 Ti. Quite a bit, sir. Okay, headwind takeoff worked. Basically, his tanks uh, emptied at the similar rates, and that was his question. So that, how uh, that can happen, yeah. Most obvious one is a leak, so uh, a fuel so leak from uh, yeah. different RPMs, and it can be difficult to get the throttles lined up um, perfectly as well, so maybe running slightly asymmetrically. Um, and just quirks of the engine, they're, they're individual engines, they're models, quite accurately, as in, like, engine fuel consumption varies from engine to engine. Some are more efficient than others. Okay, so, yeah. okay. Griso also had this uh, derby, if you remember, but yeah. not as much as me, so... Well, okay. I had, had, like, a two or three gallon difference in, in my tank, but nothing major. Yeah. That's so cool. This big birds flying formation. Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, we just need a German fighter bomber. Yes, we need one, but I don't no, think we will we'll get one soon. <laughs> so classified. Hey, it's just. No idea. I, I mean, I don't know how much. Um, I think a lot of people would like to have one, but I don't know how much uh, demand there would be outside of kind of this niche enthusiast community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a very small niche. So, unfortunately, although we're the ones who probably fly them the most, we're probably not really the target market for ED. ED probably want to pick. Hey, sir. Both airborne mosquitoes have lights on at Peakville. Definitely gonna miss you on this uh, on this mission, but. If I have a lot of lights, I'll, uh, there'll be more. There'll be more in the future. The mosquitoes. What targets we got here? Yeah, I yeah. think so. The two six two would be the next German fighter if anyone comes. This is a closed range, my friend. Yeah, that, probably. If, if they do the engines properly, the two six two is going to be a handful to fly. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to fly, yeah, of course. I also don't think the 262 oh, have that much more to, um, to the, kind of the, the I way the server plays at the moment anyway. No. no, I don't think so, but I think many people would buy this plane. Yep, I hope so. More than others. Confirm Ford Airborne out of Peekville yet? Halfway through to the port, coming in at 2000. The 
this looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love to have an outside view now. Turn south east once you guys are a couple of miles away. Not possible. <laughs> Hopefully the replay survives. I've been having some issues with replays after this update. I, I uh, didn't get across, any channel, uh, functioning replay the last two months or so yeah, from a uh, online uh, server. For me, everything works fine. And, or it was working fine until the update, and now it's like every it's like 50 50. Yeah, we uh, we have a escort. I've never had any issue with the aircraft, like, just randomly going into the ground or anything like that. All that I've had was the the game crashes when you try and load the replay. Yeah, but yeah, there should be enough I, players yeah. here that one of them works, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I was in a uh, F1 shooting down to strike you on the PvP server. I really wanted the replay file to make, like, a little cinematic out of it. After five minutes, we have five escorts. Um, I think three P-51s and two P-47s. Is everybody from Orange Flight wheels up? Thirty more seconds. Our last guy just taking off. Copy. <laughs> They've been having a rough time. Is, is our escort now uh, on the way? Yes, they are. Uh, they are. Okay. I missed this somehow. Hopefully I've hit the right key on the VR. Hopefully I've taken a bunch of screenshots here from the left side <laughs> of the formation. Uh, but we should all switch nav lights on or off because everyone has a different setting, I see. <laughs> So how is this is supposed to be? Strictly speaking, Allied fighters were required to have their nav lights on over England. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. It was just a, a basic IFF thing. Any aircraft with without nav lights on over England was liable to be shot at. Arch flight is airborne, pick over. Excellent, Jerks are joining me now. Thank you. we can push off on the next orbit. Or That's the plan. The 51s should be able to catch up with us anyway, because they can just cut the corner. Because they're coming from the east anyway, and we're heading southeast, so they can just cut the corner. Man, the 51 has so much fuel. It's nuts. It's nuts, yeah. Uh, when, when it came out, we did these crazy long transfer flights from like Tbilisi up to Anapa. Closed, closed cloud cover and just fly with a, like with a nav, com, nav computer. One of our oh, guys actually bought one of those mechanical. I should have grabbed the beer before I sat down on the, <laughs> on the <laughs> chair. <laughs> Really cool, cool guys that you uh, managed to go with us because without you we only were four or five I think uh, plus escorts so that's much better now. Oh, oh man, I, I love this type of stuff. I'd never miss that or yeah, something yeah, like that. We this. talked about it and the idea was I think Balu had the idea to ask you guys and I said yeah we coordinated on the one life event I'll ask. Yeah we're always we're so have so many guys that almost everybody wants is, is really enthusiastic about uh, doing this kind of thing whenever so 
as, as Birdman says, it's just us. You've got plans for more, more numbers, future sounds. You'll probably end up with more numbers than you need. More is always better. <laughs> I still don't want to do a big Anton raid on one of the Allied fields. <laughs> oh, yep. yes. We, we want to do one as well. So. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm in too. I would really like to do it on Whoppers with air to air rockets and we're just like 20 guys in that place. We did that on one of the One Life events. It was really funny. I didn't think we hit anything, but you had lots of explosions <laughs> coming off inside the formation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking cool this half the battle. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Rolling off at 20 degrees. I think I see the P-51s off to our left uh, at 10, 11 o'clock. Okay, blue flight rolling off ready now. Get the formation stable in the level, and then we'll start a nice gentle dive off in this direction. Orange sail and Charlie, you have your nav lights on still. I'm getting my Roger. lights off over the sea. Yep, nav lights off. Nav lights off. Nav lights off. Nav lights are off. As lead, I'll turn my resin lights on so you can ID me easily. Uh, so so you white already are uh, over uh, Isle of Wight. Right? Yeah, you can only see them from behind. That was fast. What did you say, sir? That works for us. Okay. Everyone happy? Yep. yep. Yes, uh, number two has still some red light on. Is that me on, on the left? Of yeah, Merlin? on the right side. Me? On the right, yeah. Morning flight, uh, approaching you. Yeah, give me a sec here. I have no idea okay, what okay, kind okay, of light this is. Yeah. What was this? I think I had my resin light on too. Okay, we're going to hold these engine settings, so 2708 pounds, and we're start a nice gentle dive down to sea level. He's taking me a little bit more because I'm heavier. I took rockets. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, coming back 
like right towards Merlin. We're going to hold eight pounds from 2700 until we've confirmed the Mustangs are course up and then the looks are ready. Yell at me if I get too close, Merlin. I, mean, I trust you. I couldn't see you. I'm not looking at you, dude. I'm looking at my compass. You were under my wing. <laughs> yeah, I was under yours. <laughs> oh, sketchy. Oh, good. I'm now on your uh, nine o'clock level higher. Visual. Sent you to the back of the bus. <laughs> It's hard to rejoin it on the, on the deck because I can't go lower. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just keep this like it's fine. Yeah, we need a little bit of combat spread anyway. Should we do that now? Uh, loose form is fine. Like, it, don't don't worry about adopting a specific formation because we'll it'll all get broken up once we're. Uh, Exactly, because we'll have to go line a stern for that pretty much anyway. Excellent, boys. Thank you. Just keep an eye out, make sure you're aware of where people are around you. And, uh, warn, try and, you know, say, look left or something if you're approaching from their left. Gotcha. And, and your safe escape maneuver is climbing anyway, so. You don't want to go down here. <laughs> yeah, the nice thing about using for camp for a um, an IP, if you're crossing the channel, is that it's got a massive lighthouse that you can see from miles away. It makes it really easy to refine after the crossing the featureless ocean for so long. Yeah. Counting the waves, I know exactly where we're My style of navigating is, is kind of quite imprecise, just and you'll figure it out. Yeah, it's probably it's pretty similar to what I usually do. <laughs> you got balls of steel, Merlin, find that low. <laughs> Looks plenty of space, but always yeah. probably. <laughs> I, I'm just not used to this at all. <laughs> Yeah, Birdie, you look pretty low too. I was a little bit higher than you because I was just like, my brain won't let me go any lower. It's fine. You fly as, as low as you're comfortable. I'd rather get everyone across than have anyone uh, getting wet. So if you're in VR, it's way easier to judge the height above water. <laughs> yeah, I'm in track IR, so... Oh, oh, no, I got your brakes. <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. Just don't go on someone's six. Yeah, oh. yeah, you should... Uh, stay a little bit right. Who, me? Uh, the one who is a little bit higher. Is that, I, I'm wagging my yeah, wings, is that yeah, me? Yeah. You talking about me? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I don't. Uh, or I go right, I go on the far right side. Okay. <clears throat> I was a little bit way. behind, and so no Are problem. Uh, Willow can't hear you. Willow's uh, in the other Discord channel. You can talk to him on Delta if you want. Oh, okay. So who's over here on my close right? Is that one of us? Uh, that's me. Good okay. talk. Alright, yeah. I'm right after you. 
Well, did, did you close the radiators? Yep. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, so generally for, for low crews like this, unless it's a really hot day, you don't need them uh, open all the time. You can close them 98% of the time, just open them quickly to shock all the engines. Open. before the storm. see them either. <laughs> I, have to, I have to zoom in a, a lot to see them. Yeah, when I zoom in, I, I also see them. But I just I just have to look there. Hmm. I mean, on, I'm on the left side of the formation, so I naturally look oh, over to the right. Very... Oh, I can see them now. Without zooming in, but they just look like little tiny dots. Right on the horizon. I see three. Yep. What's the... Uh, use these things once. Uh, what's the temperature limits on, on the coolant and oil? So once you get to about... Uh, the oil will basically never open. One ten, which is about 12 o'clock position on the dial. Um, but if you're being chased by something, close your rads and you can run them all the way up to 130. Hey, we're up the P47, it's here with uh, Orange Flight, by the way. So, uh, you, you can run them much hotter. Second, uh, catching up 110 is a nice, rock. easy temperature, reference temperature, so open your rads for 15 seconds to cool your engine sound. So it's you, Jake, you're with Orange Flight, and who's the other guy? Cypher is going to be the other one joining me. He's just catching up. He had to take off again. Ah, all right, Cypher and JP, all right. So, uh, information everyone, Orange Flight, we are uh, four or five minutes out from P Camp. I think I can see them on my one o'clock. Roger, what's your airspeed, Marcy's? Airspeed is 240, 250 miles. No. Roger. Looks like yeah. white specks against a dark background because they're low as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. It could just be light off the cliffs, though, it's hard to tell sometimes. I only see the cliffs, so. Oh, yeah, in, in Spyglass Zoom, I don't see anything, so I don't know. Back in the 2012-2013 days on the virtual aerobatics server, um, that was, oh, yeah. there was a there was a guy uh, who flew P fifty ones in real life, and he taught formation flying on the server. That was really cool. He would go on this team speak, and he would just chat you up and say, "Hey, uh, do you want to learn?" And you flew together. <laughs> Oh, 
like, can we take it down really? to the cliffs level? No, I'm talking shit. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 we are damn. sending orange flag descending. You got heli on us, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no tally on blue flag just yet. Right, that's, uh, I think that's oh, sorry, sorry, on our one of Sorry, <laughs> you're with us. Yeah, I think it's in there. Yeah, Just trying to pick out that lighthouse. Good flight. Yeah, visual on the lighthouse. But that's definitely it on our 12.30, 1 o'clock, that, that dip in the cliffs. Roger. Nice navigating. Tailwind Charlie, uh, orange flight. If you push down altitude, please. without the invasion strikes. Yeah. It's, it's really hard. I was trying to find someone who had a mozzie on his tail, funnily enough, an Anton. <laughs> I said the 50 ones back there. I didn't realize they kept caught up. They didn't and, say so. I, just... uh, I only spotted the mozzie when he started firing again. Funnily enough, I that's why I use... Well, one of the reasons I don't use Tracer in this thing. I see a group. Uh, one o'clock there. Question, uh, Willow, are we arming nose and tail or anything different? Yeah, yeah I just this, need to switch down for both, even though we've got the tail plugged. This should be orange. Okay, flag. could be nose and tail armed. Got it. We should tell them North that we are here. Lead, we're a couple of uh, miles north of the camp now at low altitude. Yeah, they're 9 o'clock of us, maybe 8 o'clock of the lead Mossy flight. We're just uh, coming over um, their field shot, I think, yeah. Just popped up real quick to switch tanks. My wing tanks uh, are yeah, almost good empty. Call. Good call, holy fuck. Uh, they, I, I was looking over there and was like, um, there's nothing in there, basically. <laughs> Crossing the river is my mental strategy, but we've always for a while, so... Yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. Thank goodness for something. Watch out, watch out. Formation's getting a little bit sketchy. Jump Orange flight, I suggest one left-hand orbit over the camp for the blue flight to catch, and then off on heading. Watch out, orange flight, we are turning left hand orbit now. Uh, that one Mazi is speed uh, swirling oh way to the, right, uh, to the right. Someone's shooting out. Yeah, them. this is really weird. I don't know what's going yeah, on. I'm going to flight and cut that I'm turn gonna off so you can gain on them. Go left. I'm out of, right, I'm out of the, the way here. Back. Okay, I'm, I'm going to turn left here. Turn. I'm going to stay on the left side of this. Yeah, that's fine. Drifted to your right. Oh, I, I bet. I think that was Willow going off to join. I think is what that was. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Orange yeah. lead. You should see them all. Eleven o'clock. Jesus like Christ! You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> Orange lead looking. Okay. Um, we lost Charlie. Left Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. on the left side. You can cross now. In so Orange flight. We are continuing our left hand turn and forming up behind. Coming off. back up on Merlin now. Yeah, we okay. got two two of our mozzies that were lost over far left there. Yeah, oh, we, so we had to get away because things are getting weird. We spat out ahead now, so...
Uh, Merlin, when I get closer, do you mind just coming up a little bit in altitude? Or? Uh, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna be climbing to cross these cliffs here anyway. So. Okay. We'll just be terrain following from now on. So. Okay. TFR again, on. again. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I've opened my eyes now. I've, I've looked up from my instrument panel. <laughs> I woke up the guy next to me in here. Oh man, this is awesome! All <laughs> oh, the jacks puxing right, overhead. Right, 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 Yeah, so at this altitude, formation flying is secondary to not flying into a tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or each other. Or each Both other. Both wooden. Yeah. But, well, it's one of the examples where CFIS is actually preferable to a bit of air. Merlin, I've broken off onto Orange Flight now. Well, that's what you got. Copy. Yeah, of course we saw him go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gave me his better. wake as he went. <laughs> he, he shot up past me and crossed my mouth. I had to go up. Our 40 flight has gone out. Warm up on the left hand side. Chubs are going to hold right side. Yeah, we're looking good. Is everyone happy? Planes. Yes. Yep. So I'm going to attack the fuel. Uh, there are hangars and there's the runways to attack. Does anybody want? It's, it's probably worth putting two aircraft on the runways. I can um, do a runway. Bullfrog, do you want the other runway job? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So Bullfrog and Derby are on the runways. Yeah, Viper sure. and Birdman, you're on the hangars, and I'll take the fuel. Okay. Just call your attack Flight to make clear. sure that there's. Uh, and remember, everyone's got 11 second fuses. Yeah, GPI, I'm tailing Charlie and the Mossies. Uh, yeah, uh, either go. Moves, but, yeah. Either run in together or wide. On the right side, space. you have your landing lights on. Right yeah, I'm still catching up to you guys after that turn at the harbor. <laughs> but it's good. I'm okay, coming. Boss, sir. Number four, orange flight has landing lights. But you have eyes on us, Derby? Hey, yeah. Um, oh, I'm passing someone's wake. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm catching up. I'm coming in. Okay. I drift hey, up to the rear right side of the flight. Should be the second to last one. I'm in the last one. Turn, Sperlin, uh, be sure to give it a heading because uh, we have to turn, go out to do Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're on this heading now until we cross the river at the southern river bend, and then we're turning, I think it's 185 for target. Not a big deal if you can't get it sorted. But I'll call once I've started my turn, but you just hold heading until you cross the river, and then it's 185. Yeah, because I have to we'll, go after the turn for a while between you, so I gotta, I gotta make myself play with you and my engineer. I can pop up a bit if you want me to fly a bit higher. No, 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 don't worry about it. Just keep it there, right? Heading. Perfect. Okay, uh, so Derby, when we do the runway, we should do the slightly diagonal and all eight bombs, right? So you four and me four, so then the runway should be gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so the best way to do is aim one third and two thirds We're straight down the runway. The the half. Yeah. And as you say, a slight angle, so you've got a diagonal line across. Yeah. can do for this thing is set up a keybind for each of the four bomb ready switches so that it uh, you can hold the pickle switch and then cycle through the four switches to ripple them. Oh but, okay, I didn't knew this. But it's or or have a navigator do it for you is the other way of doing it. That's how they did it for real. Yeah. But I'm um, I'm usually I have two uh, bound and I indicated, uh, drop two uh, at once and then the other one stayed up. Um, Arch might be 
We got indicated 240 right now. Shall we throttle up? Key A from. Uh, Reflex at 8 pounds, 2700. Rats closed. Yeah, feel free to push the power. Orange, orange accelerating to 60 indicators. One bandit off jump off uh, flight. Heading to the right. Charlie. Oh, Roger, move like to stay low. <laughs> Jokes have tally as well. Looks like no factor, still westbound. There is a 109 around. She also cries, oh, this looks awesome. Yeah, he's not going to shoot at us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the mummy is quite dangerous so if you have this many. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. One when person. you are a lonely uh, hunter, then you will be in trouble. I will. That's just how it's modeled. It's uh, it's realistic. It's the most modern World War II module as of now, so it's actually very realistic. I shot down a 190. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> Tried to turn uh, with me. I turned inside his turn and just gave him a full brunt of 20 now. I'm guessing it has the four Hasmanos. And the Hasmanos has a pretty decent uh, muscle mass. Oh, really well, he went up in flanks. <laughs> he was done. <laughs> Blue 1 is crossing the IT, Southern River Vans turning right, 185. We have okay. a contact on Roger. our, what's that, 7 or 8, only one single contact. I hope okay. those are our escorts. Another contact, 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12 o'clock now. Powering up to combat power. Roger. Which is? <laughs> 20, 16 and 29. 16 and 29, got it. Open your wrap flaps as well. Right. Got it. Oh, mine were open this whole time. This is the, the valley with the river, yep. and we're almost there. Oh yeah, okay, copy. Oh man, I saw a reflection of my canopy and it looked like tracers coming up for a second. There are the odd triple A guns scattered around, so just keep your eyes on. Copy. I probably won't see them until they'll wake up once I pass them, so just warn me. Roger. And we'll be climbing, right? Before? Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing a pop up. Okay. To what altitude? Launch flight is now over the second waypoint, the rivers, turning 156 to run to railway station. Now? Uh, one or two thousand feet is plenty. Okay. The main purpose of the pop-up is to get eyes on the target. Roger. I've tried doing, um, staying low altitude the whole way. It's really challenging because of slight oh, yeah. navigation and suddenly you have to make a second pass. Exactly. It yeah. only works on some of the targets. Like, one yeah. railway station, I stay low for the whole ingress because I know where it is. I just follow the rails in. And yeah. You need a lot of part. practice for sure. That. Two contacts, one o'clock, uh, full altitude. 
Yeah, it's coming right at us. Is that a balloon or? I don't know. Where is a balloon at Bernay? Not sure. Uh, two o'clock, Daniels over Bernay. I think it's a bandit. Balloon's popping up. Alright, hangers. Yeah, definitely an aircraft. Will we be prepared to take the Another aircraft just took off, I think. Slightly behind. Triple A, triple A. Coming up, triple A. Weaving left and right. right. I'm popping off to the right a little bit. Uh, and it's approaching 12 o'clock. Yeah, in a left turn, he's uh, off to my uh, right now. Right on, 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 we got a good angle on the runway. I'm going to stack on the left. Stack on the left. Go the hangars. Stay again. Open Bombay doors. Bombay doors open. 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 Yeah, orange flight. We got. Um, now, Derby, I'm going Engage. for the last part Comfort. of the runway. I'm going, going for the first hangar, first hangar. Popping down for the hangars. Uh, Bravo, 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 uh, you got a fuel leak. Something hit you, Bob. Uh, Left engine. Yeah, Hangers are gone. Hangers are gone. Turning 330. Turning 330. I've got an electrical fault. Can someone call the blue flights off target? Blue flight off blue target. Off target. Alright, turning 330. Well, we, we've got to hit uh, Broly. Yeah, oh, yeah right, right, right. 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 single fighter out of Broly. Yeah, it's Alec. Probably south of here, right? South, yeah. southwest, yeah. One of the climbing pretty high. Is that uh, accidental? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, Trying to yeah. rejoin with you guys. I've got one on my far left. That's me, uh, far left of you. I see two on my right. Bullfrog has an oil leak, left engine, be careful. I'm going to follow you guys. Uh, my left engine is gone. Yeah, yeah, head of the engine. I've got a divert as well. I'm going to use my right engine. Um, Derby, you're extra good, please. I'm good, I'm undamaged. Copy, I'll slide me and I'll prepare for the gun run, then proceeding further to Okay, I'll slide you as well. I'm going to check this bandit heading west-ish. Who's uh, in a right hand highway chasing somebody? Yeah, I'm in the right hand on route Bro Broglie coming in uh, southeast to northwest. Triple A coming up now. Orange, guns, guns, guns. Going in on that K4 here. There's an aircraft taking off. Okay, I'm just gonna evade here. There's no chance I'm gonna. Are we egressing now? Um, I need if, you're, to if you're undamaged, continue to Broly. If you're damaged, egress. Egressing, I'm hit. Well, I don't want to be the only one at, at Broglie. Yeah, yeah, if you're the only one, then egress. Okay, yeah. egressing. Wait, two, I'm lightly I'm damaged, Broglie. I don't think. I'm egressing. Okay, Bombay closed. Bombay Bye -bye. closed. Okay, okay I was you. hit. I let this down, I think. Ah. Uh, I'm coming back towards uh, Bernay. Is there anyone? I, I'm, 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 down. I'm behind you, Viper. Ah. Okay. So we're going to Bernay? What? Well, I'm confused. What are we doing? Oh, really landed one in one but both pilots are dead. Okay, we're following <laughs> these guys into <laughs> Broglie or what? Yeah, yeah tell you. Broglie inside, 12 o'clock dead ahead. Prepare for uh, sorry, Bob. There is uh, a 1 and 9 taxi in here. I turned down, but look at the Same. And, and one took up. So. Alright, undamaged blue is on orange flight. We're gonna follow in with guns. What is he doing? There's a one a 109 here that's doing weird stuff. It's in now. That, I'm gonna go for that left gun that was firing there. Roger. Okay, uh, you're over probably right, not right now, orange right? Yeah, I'm underneath orange. Hugging the here. Those last three 
Orange flight has turned to hard right. Not sure where they're going. Orange, we're lining up for the runway. Okay, they, yeah, okay. they are not okay. over the airfield. They are okay. several in the airfield. Okay. Yeah, they're lining up for the... I'm gonna try to fly over Broly, get uh, flak off you guys. Yeah, can Somebody someone tell them Broly. that there's uh, still a Roger. fighter here? Oh, yeah. well, that would be great. There's still a fighter oh, somewhere uh, in the area. Watch out, guys. Passing the airfield now, taking triple. Striping one at Broly. Yeah, going down for the. Hey, the. The guy on the floor at Broly is on fire. Oh, lots of white turbines. Oh, good, good, <laughs> sorry. Wow! <laughs> Two mossies flying in in different directions and always... Yeah, I was taking out the guns and I got a hit from the rockets and I'm getting hit now. It doesn't to make sense to point the runway here, yeah, I think. Orange leader damaged, defending 360. Yeah, Viper Damus, I'm uh, heading 330 right here. So Copy. I got a K4 northeast of the field coming in low level. From my perspective, it looks like Roger. those mossies are diving into the ground <laughs> and then they come back. Oh my god, this is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Alright, I'm 330 I'm heading out. You guys have SMB on Lincoln or something? This is awesome. <laughs> oh, another muscle was hit. Yep, that's me. Right now. Uh, 330. I'm on 330 behind a damaged mozzy, maybe that's two miles. Probably. Yeah, it's probably Still good. I got some light hits somewhere, but I don't. Oh, right there. Zero. Zero. Three three zero, come on. It's a shame that you cannot tap through the planes with F2. This yeah. would be so cool. Gonna probably lose my right engine, but that's fine. It's alright, between us we'll have a working mosquito. I lost my left engine. And we're all having a real shit time. <laughs> Watch it. So I can run it at full power or what? My right engine? Yeah, run it at 16 pounds. Close the other rad flap and feather the prop. I feathered so it. Close, closed it. Close, close the radiator for the non engine. Can this thing run for like a good amount of time on full power like this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going in for a gun run. Oh, I, I'm, I, I'm dead. I got hit. What? Okay, yeah, I'm uh, running um, on one engine now. You, you still don't see me? Yeah, I see you. You're. I think you're in, on my uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah, I'm hitting the. I'm hit, hitting the valley here now. Should I follow it? Yeah, you will. You get to the coast. I think uh, between Cherbourg and uh, Cabourg and uh, La Havre. Yeah, and then go out to sea a little bit. Yeah. And then turn for St. Pierre or something. Benny. Uh, did anyone else get um, shot down or just me? I'm uh, heading down to the valley. I'm oh. also dead. Yeah, Bullfrog's down. By an aircraft or a AAA? Uh, AAA. Uh, okay, aircraft. I'm in they the valley. Got the pilot. Yeah, same. I'm behind you. I lost you now in the clutter. I'm climbing in a... B-47, I think, or oh, what's here? Yeah, I got hit by AAA on my right side. Probably hit the engine. I think I got hit by the friendly Mossy's rocket strike. That <laughs> second run is what killed me. I should have just went home the first run. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I went for that gun again, but I really wanted it. Oh, it's a junction here. To the right, I guess. I got two high contacts left. I'm staying out of the valley for now. Uh, two high contacts, uh, that is a uh, west side of the valley. 
Are we doing a second run or what? I'm not. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. <laughs> we'll we'll yeah. see how many people are still on. Did you did you uh, head out of the valley? You said. Yeah, I, I'm still flying. I'm now flying three two zero. Um, because there's two contacts uh, oh. to my left. Oh, there goes my red engine. He's gonna die here. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, it's over revving like crazy. I should have took Tracialis. Yeah, here he goes. <laughs> That's one. Yeah, it's out. Damn. I'm gonna probably gonna try and get to Saint Pierre. Uh, not Saint Pierre, Saint Croix, and deliver the aircraft. Okay, let's see. Props are uh, feathered. I'm about a hundred meters behind a 190 here. Oh, <laughs> get get the chance, dude. I my, uh, I have no electric, so I don't have a cannon. Oh no, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, it's a 109. <laughs> right into the hornet's nest. <laughs> All right, I'm three. Uh, I am 320 right now, heading for the mouth. You still see me? Yeah, visual. Uh, there's a town in front of you, right? And you are in the valley. Yeah. Oh wow! There were three. We're all running on one engine, right? No, we're two on one engine and one without electric. I can hear mine and mine quissing. Oh <laughs> really? Just one, just one engine, right? Yeah, on one engine and it's shutting down. Oh no! It's fine. I should be able to crash land this. Oh no. <laughs> it was yeah. it was kinda of terrifying when I heard that right engine over, start over revving. I was like, oh fuck. So this time everyone was hit. Yep. <laughs> Last time on, we didn't lose anyone, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> but that's we didn't really attack an difficult. airfield, so Yeah, airfield is always hard, harder, but I think it's more fun. Definitely, we, yeah. I think we did a pretty darn good job. I, yeah, I saw the I, fuel I go, so. the hangers went for sure. The yeah. second pass of the orange guys uh, went beautifully. I was lagging behind. I think that's why I got singled out. I was the last one out. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, now I see it. There are a bunch of holes in my uh, prop. Uh... <sighs> I think. I'm, I'm hugging the. Ooh, what is that smoking out of me now? No, that doesn't sound Nothing good. Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it white and fluffy? It's white and fluffy. <laughs> That's cooler. So your engine's overheating. But it's on my right side, though. It's still overheating. Oh, my. But it's out, right? The right side is out? Oh, we're almost yeah. feet wet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming out here on the coast now. Oh, I'm only doing 225. Uh, yeah, 225 now. Yeah, I pulled mine back a little bit. Because apparently I'm... Um... So that engine is overheating. It's not the good one. If it's the bad one, it's already dead. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, right? Because it's, it's confirmed coming out of the right side. The only issue with it is that it's making you easier to spot. Oh, yeah. No, I'm... Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm on your six, sir. If someone's coming from behind, you, I'll probably get hit first. <laughs> uh, that is true. You're a really good bait. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna throttle back up. Are you gonna follow oh, no, the coast up. this closely? No, not anymore. <laughs> I thought maybe I could mask it over the beaches, but I see that the, I run out of coolant now. <laughs> mm, okay. On that side. All right, well, pressure is. Oh, it was 11 or 12 guys on Channel Delta, and now it's six. Yeah, <laughs> we lost a bunch. I have something on my left. That's a chimney smoke. I'm. Uh, I'm on your. On my nose. On my nose. That's a boat. Don't worry about it. A two boat. A couple of five boats or something. Yeah. Two clo. Uh, no. Three, two, two, three, two. Yeah, there's a bunch of boats. <laughs> oh, fuck! I only see one. 
Oh, I see black smoke behind me. There's somebody just crashed. Oh no. Right there. So you guys are heading to St. Croix, right? Yeah. Okay. And when, when you land, uh, you'll be uh, we'll be able to spawn there in mosquitoes. Possibly, yeah. Merlin, how are you doing? I think you have to crash land in a field. I really thought I was gonna make it out alive too, <laughs> and then my tail just disappeared and everything Hi went there, to flames. So... Did anyone stop? came uh, came out alive? <laughs> I'm alive. I'm I'm down on the ground near Kaborg. I can yeah. probably walk back to friendly lines from here. I'm also down on the uh, ground. Alive. Check uh, ten o'clock. There's something yeah. just crashed on the coast. Oh, is that what that close smoke is? Yeah. I copy, I see. There's also a big dogfight happening right there. Um, I'm gonna take a little more right and just go a little further out, okay? Mm-hmm. There's like five or six planes fighting. Hey, thank you very much. Hello, Derby. No, Hello. You have a there is a... I see yellow tracers coming from the nose of that one, so I think the Germans are winning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gonna... fair, or is it a solid stream? Hey, 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 hey! What is that to our uh, seven, eight o'clock? There's a mozzie on my uh, my nine o'clock. That's me, right? You're on my eleven. Okay, there's a guy a little higher than me. Yeah, my nine o'clock high is a mozzie. Is that a mozzie? Yeah, I can zoom in. I can okay. see the big wing. Okay. If there is something with, where can I uh, where I can help you, just say it. Huh? Yeah, follow the coastline. Go east. <laughs> so it's it's Derby and and Wiper. You, you two are still alive. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, um, Merlin is still around. Just lost the electrics. Birdman just I'm one. Crew. I'm I'm on the ground. This is awesome. Okay. Yeah. How's it looking? <laughs> uh, on my screen, both your engines are running. What? Yeah, desync. Yeah, yeah that's desync. Yeah. Like shit. Maybe I should leave it and come back. Maybe they're both working. <laughs> and my pilot has so tinnitus. Is it intentional that you have the right uh, um, uh, cooler off? off? Yeah. So maybe also desync. <laughs> you cannot rely on anything you see. I've lost one of the blue flight monsters here now. Um, um, it's a bit cooler off because it's less drag and the engine okay. is out anyway. Okay. Achso, so ich kann. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, there's someone on your six now. He's coming in fast, but I believe it's friendly. Yeah, belief does go a long way, but if it, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not getting shot by ships. That's one. It's thing. a friendly. Yeah, I can tell it's friendly. Okay. Oh yeah, you're in here. You can look. <laughs> oh, now your engine stopped. It just, it was. I guess it was just <laughs> slowing you down. The left one. I'll start crying. <laughs> oh, I think that's a mossy which is not coming. So we have two mossies in front of us. No, no. Did you open the window? Yeah, yeah, oh I did. Oh my god, fuck <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought my engine started over revving. I thought we lost one number one I just engine. wanted to stick my head out the window like a dog. Okay, yeah, we, can, we can almost turn south now to Saint Croix. Do you want to go all the way to Saint Pierre? No, I'll go to Saint Yeah, sir, I, I messed up. I stayed too long on the second run. I was undamaged, so people wanted me to continue running uh i feel like i shouldn't be punished for being undamaged like just because i'm undamaged doesn't mean i have to stay till i die like bruh i could have left but no we circled back around and joined the red or uh, joined the orange squad for the second run if it was up to me i would have made it out alive but it, i had to follow other people's orders 
just for the flyout, I guess. For you guys? And I just flew straight through somebody's rockets. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how I lost my engine. Oh shit. Who's this uh, crossing my. Dude, I thought my engine died again when you closed the window. <laughs> Got San Croix on my 12 o'clock now. I'm slowly climbing up. Um, exactly, that's what I'm saying. But Merlin was like, "No, you're not damaged. Stay around." And then I, and then, and then we started egressing because we were like, "Oh, there's only three of us. Let's egress." And then they were like, "Oh, let's let's wrap around with the Orange Squadron and join them in their run." And that's what killed us. So I was just following what everyone else was doing. Yeah, it should be one pass, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to be like. I didn't want to. You know what I mean? Be a pussy and just like go home when everyone else is like staying back. So I, I was like, all right, I'll follow with you guys. And then on RTB, a 109 came up behind me and took me out. It is what it is. Final for San Juan. Copy that. Um, yeah, I'll be able to get that. No okay. flaps on this landing, huh? Yeah, no flaps. No flaps with front engine, okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna throw the navigator out to reduce some weight. <laughs> Sorry, Birdman. Good to go. Alright, I'm starting at right bank now. Don't, don't reduce the throttle too much. Oh, watch our speed. Yeah, yeah, put that throttle back. Once once the gear comes down, we'll start slowing down more. No backseat flyers. I'm too fast here. I'm gonna turn one, do a simple turn here before I get land. Hast du die Propeller Segelstellung rechts? Ja. But that's what we trained for all the last year, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, that was engine awesome. Landings and <laughs> all that stuff. I do single engine landings all the time with a P47. I'm gonna switch to channel alpha now for the landing and announce it. Just slam it down, <laughs> Navy style. Let's go. Oh shit, we're going way too fast, my guy. We're, we're oh. fine. We're fine. Gears, oh, my gears fucked. No gears came out. Kick the right rudder. Yeah, there I'm you kicking go. It. Yeah, I started kicking it. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> My pilot has tinnitus. All I hear is ee. Yeah, let's uh Okay. It looked like he is out. I'm still got I still got 30 30% fuel. Nice. We had a pretty good margin there. Wow, that was one hell of a flight. Thanks. That was good. That was fun. That was awesome, yeah. Yeah, definitely. When I saw the smokestacks at Benet, <laughs> I knew what yeah, happened. we are still flying, huh? Yeah, yeah I just landed. Is... And some guys are still up, yeah, that's good. So, at least we, we got some casualties, right? But how many survived? Two, three? Three guys from the Mossies? Wow. Well, uh, Derby? Derby? Viper? Viper? Wait, I was the only one that actually got shot down by another aircraft? Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, our fighter escort was pretty effective. Yeah, but why am I so unlucky? Did, did they got one? Jesus, dude. I've, I've, I haven't had so much fun in DCS in a long time. That was really fun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I really should we repeat? That. So, so guys, we repeat, um, to but, be repeated. Yeah, we, we are hosting to such things landing? in in regular intervals. So that was the second, and we will soon make also a third of those. Perfect. I will call yeah. Merlin and he will call you guys in again. Um, yeah. And don't forget the uh, Anton raid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can uh, go ahead and call me for an Anton raid as well. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, you got a landing gear pop there or it's bent. I don't know. Perfect, but we're live. We are living. I don't know if anyone yeah, else is, but I'm down for a second. A good run. landing is when you can go away and we can go away. Uh, we can go away. <laughs> Merlin had to walk back to Perfect, the line. Yeah, I had a bit of a rough landing. There's another, I see another one coming in. Looking at that. 
Okay, so we uh, so we got to um... yeah, we got to deliver some mossies here as well. Then is that how it works? Yeah, because I can yeah. spawn in now here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do they also count the completely crapped mossies? <laughs> well, oh, you, it, it, I'm gonna repair. Uh, Who's that mossy landing now? Who's that? I think that guy just tagged along or something. Oh shit, really? <laughs> so, we hit... Uh, Bernie, Bernie and Bro Brogli. Is that a uh, place yeah. that spawned, right? Um, so, Bernay, I'm not sure, but Brogli has player deliverable slots, and I know they are always um, available we are because. Refueling there. Yeah, it's. Re I'm refuel. Like, I often just go from Giancourt in a 190, I go to the Falas Gap, bomb some stuff, maybe bounce a few ground pounders, and then I head to uh, Brogli land and deliver the aircraft. And that's my usual route. Don't use it yeah. against me, please. Copy. Wie schön das Gras hinter der Mossi sich welt im Fahrtwind. Yeah, that's really cool. The uh, blast effects from like the. Yep. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna jump to. Uh, gonna shut off the engine and. Uh, yep. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That's what I'll do. Was well, a pleasure to fly with you. Same. And you dreht das Trieb, rechte Triebwerk immer noch Vollgas. Talk to you guys hopefully soon again. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, bye. 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 See you. Bye bye. I'm going to go up to the pilot's pub because that's where other people went, so... Yeah, yeah. Yep. Strafing guys on the ground so they wouldn't get real back and chase them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. nice. Oh, that's, that's good. Just good. Ah, fuck. No, some AAA hit me. What the fuck? I'm with Birdman. Army. Yep. That, that's you? That's me. Alright, are you up for another good run? Yes, I am. Nice. Where are you taking off? Uh, Picovid? Uh, Saint Saint Croix. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna um, get a fighter here, or if if you wanna have a navigator to assist you in the uh, flying. Um, it's up to you. I'm I'm be ha I'd be happy to do it if it can help you. Yeah. Uh, just when you get in here, let me know if I need to restart because you know desync. Let me know if like. I'm in. Um, no, no, the engines are on, it's good. Oh, you're in right now? Go. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Just go, uh... Rearming complete. Do whatever you want. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Alright, I pop the uh, stream with a time step stand to the form up of the Isle of Wight. I pop it in a screenshots video channel here. Right. Okay, perfect. That was fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the uh, Bernay airfield was crater to hell. Nice. <laughs> what about Brogley? Uh, was, uh, we did quite a lot of damage, but I think it wasn't, wasn't hit quite as hard. Yeah, we lined up so perfectly on Bernay, it was crazy. Yeah, that was Bro cool. Brogley was hit pretty good as well, but Bernay just got annihilated. I was the last pretty man good. out of Brogley, so there was a 109 that snuck up behind me and shot my tail off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, we shot we shot him down. And oh, nice. Buddy. Good. And a third one. And we strafed probably four of them five minutes after you guys were out of the area. On nice. Grenade, so it didn't go wheels up for you guys. Nice. Noodle's the only one that made it back. I was Winchester rolling scissors to keep a couple one on the busy until I just got way too slow. Well, I was the only one that got shot down, so you guys did a good job then. Only one, one loss to an aircraft. Nice, yeah. I 
we planned that on purpose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know you probably yeah, did, JP. Stats are a little too high. <laughs> Gotta tone down your excellence. I mean, you know, you, know, you look us, make us look bad. Nah. Hey, well, yeah. thank you for inviting us. It was really good fun. Yeah, sure. It was fun. You know, first time I'd uh, managed to do participate in something bigger. No. So for me, I was pretty much exciting, and I'm a shitty uh, Mustang pilot anyway. So, but that was fun. Oh, wow, you did great, both both you guys in the Mustangs. And uh, we'll let you know when we do our Allied airfield raid, uh, sure. so we can might be able to hit two at once, like uh, hit Creekville and Saint Pierre or, or Saint Croix at the same time or something. Yeah, that would be really good. really put the cat among them. But I'm going to head off. I've got something I need to sort out quickly. I might be yeah. back on later this evening. Um, All right. Um, I'll see you guys you. around. I'll be back on Friday at the latest. Okay. See Thanks you, Merlin. See you, Derby. See you guys. See you guys. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. I think Benny Sumer was friendly on that mission. Yeah. yeah should be. <laughs> should, should be, yeah. yeah. I'm totally, uh, uh, you know, wrong side for me. This always flies German. Wait. Why did Viper... Oh, Viper didn't come up here with us in the... He's still oh. in Flight 1. Maybe someone... Uh, Grizu, can you drag him or do you have... Don't you have the rights? Oh. What the heck? It's gun say thing is weird. There we go. Oh, we we met once. It was was a pretty much a draw when we met on the server, <laughs> but be, only because we used the clouds and you were too smart for <laughs> to play. We were it. we were both very smart in that situation, and we knew each other. Yeah. We're you know we we, we respected each other basically. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. Just we couldn't do anything because obviously you were in a Mustang, uh, but we just. <laughs> Dipped into the clouds, waited a little bit. But, yeah. You did. I mean, you you did what you could have done because I I couldn't attack you guys either because then I, the way you guys had it set up, it was like it was impossible for me to attack without getting attacked by the other guy. Yeah, that that was the plan. Like when on the stream, I could see. Oh, he hasn't seen me. He's turned around, and that was exactly my plan. I wanted you to follow me. Yeah. <laughs> It was very funny to see it almost work on the stream uh, afterwards on the recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Viper's still down there. I might go down there and just let him know. See if I can drag him up here manually. Yeah, maybe Rizzo. I think Rizzo Noodle. Maybe. Do you? Can you guys drag guys around? They might be AFK right now. Yeah. Oh no, he's up here. Oh, they're, they're... Viper, are you there? No, no. I guess not. Alright, thanks. That was a lot of fun. Uh, put yep. the stream up on the here on the picture videos chat. Okay. Um, it's timestamped to the big formation form up over the Isle of Wight. That looked really cool. <laughs> uh, we should definitely should put some in some music. I'd suggest uh, a flight of the Valkyries. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Um, yeah. And see, see you around. around. You too, Derby. See you. Putting her down. See ya. Looks like. Is that. I wonder if that's Viper over there. I know he was getting repaired. Okay, good night. Good night. See you around, like. Yeah, no, I'll go as well in the end. Good night. Okay, good night. See ya. Bye. See ya. Well, I don't know. JP, are you still flying the Mozzie? Or were you in a escort? Uh, I was in a jug. Okay.
Well, if Viper wakes up, I'll fly out with him, but... If not, I'll just go in my Mustang. Okay, guys, thanks for the invite. That was fun. Sure. See you later, Roger. See you later. See you, JP. <coughs> Pony one knot. Rearming complete.
Well, that's that. Set her down, but one gear missing. Nice. I'm still alive. Nice though. Well, that lag was really bad at times. Dang, 72 players on right now. 72, okay. I had some pretty bad lag when uh, we were flying over the, uh, the the channel, actually, low level, I don't know. We should tone down the the settings for the, for the sea, I don't know. The, didn't have that much problem over land, but that quite stumped. What are you guys doing? Yo, I was waiting for you, Viper. I'm on your 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, what are we? It's just me and you, I think, for Mozzie's. Yeah. Zoo's out. Uh, me as well. Got to work tomorrow. So if you want to fly again, Viper, I'll fly with you. Make yourself comfortable here. Got a cozy pub, um, have a beer, or, or how we call it, aiming water. And, uh, yeah, whenever. I guess uh, we, we might find something for the German side next time. Oh, yeah. Really nice. It was a really, really, really fun flight. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Even those, those, despite those difficulties and planning and switching like that, it brought pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Also took him out, taking out both those airfields there. Yeah. I just I hope know. the replay survived so I can watch it back. Yeah. <laughs> I just checked out your stream, just put back, back on it. You ended up pretty far behind there. Yeah, I did. I should have just stayed with the group and not tried to just shoot up the airfield, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm off. Uh, Hope to see you in game. Hopefully not on my six, but um, you know, see you around. It was fun. Yeah. See you, Noodle. See you around. What do you think I should have done differently there, Viper? Watching it back from your point of view. Yeah, that second pass definitely, a hundred percent. The site, the the very last pass that I did where I got shot a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think that was. Uh, the that might have yep. been like the necessary part. As I was going in, I was like, ah, this is greedy. But it, the, yeah, because the... I mean, it from from flying in a straight line, that probably took like three minutes of flight time from you away. You know what I mean? Yeah. We were so, because when you did that, I'm gonna look at the map here. And I was very visible when I did that because someone said, oh, there's a mozzie that just got hit. You know what I mean? So I got I shot tracers. Tracers shot back at me. And then probably that's when the 109 saw me, or whatever. Fly out of. Can't even tell. 
Did we fly? What? 3.30. I wanted to just head back home after the first run, to be honest, but... Yeah, like... I can't even make out the valley on the map here. Oh, I found it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I came out, like, 3.50. And then jump down into the valley. Uh, what's it called? Cormail? Yeah, Cormail. There. Yeah, there it is. Or. No, sorry. North of Lisso. And then, like, follow that one left, and then straight up north, and then out left. I'm pretty sure that's what I mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one, now that I think about it. It is getting kind of late. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. If I leave this one here, then people can spawn here. Is that what happens? Well, since you brought it back, now there's two spawns in St. Croix for people to take if they want. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Do we have flares in this? Thing? No, I don't think so. Green trace? I have something next to me called Green Tracer. I have no idea what that is. Flare? Winch. Aerial winch. What the fuck is that? Like Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Refueling complete. Well, uh, I'm gonna hop down to the 332 track because I'm in a Mustang now, so. Yeah, I'll follow you there. Alright, cool. I love this sound mod for this uh, Mustang, it makes it sound like a hot rod. Hey guys. Rearming complete. Hey, sir. I'm learning something each time I do one of these airfield raids, it's great. Oh yeah. That's how I cope with my deaths, I just call them learning experiences. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I'm still gonna be hard in the mossy anyways. Yeah. But it was a clear- At least I, we, you guys got jumped, that's what happened. Yeah. I kinda... I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad that I know what my mistake was, you know? I'm glad I was yeah. able to be like, okay, this is what I did wrong, I can just not do that again. Or do it again if I want to. And just be dumb on purpose. Oh my god, this thing. Yeah, I'm coming back in, I'm just text testing uh, 60 hertz in my headset. Here. Which what? gives better spotting. What did you have it at before? 90. Okay. With VR is, uh, it's weird. I've heard people say like 30 FPS is fine in VR, but I don't know. It can be. How did you get the replay thing? You told me when you open a replay. Um. Uh, hold on. I have a video that someone sent me, and I can send it to you. So I'll just do that because explaining it is kind of hard. Yeah, you said something about opening it and then. Yeah, one sec. Uh, who was it that sent me this? Hello. 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 Hi. Still flying on the Allied side. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't have any Axis aircraft, to be honest. I was just wondering as I close these, yes. Might open it again to join you guys, maybe. Depends if you're still gonna be flying or not. I am. I'm in a Mustang, as per. Yeah, I'm, I'm also joining in the Mustang. I'll come back in there. Okay, I'm sending. Okay. Viper, I'm gonna send you what the message that I got sent that helped me. It's in German. Some of it's in German. Uh, but it's like it's everything's in the same spot if you know what I mean. So you know what I mean. Like you'll just go like, oh, it's three slots down, that one. Uh, uh, I know German. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, uh, you're fine. So how did it go for the rest of the boys? Everyone pretty much that didn't get shot down, at least, they all made it back, which was Most nice. Of the got blasted with AAA well, and stuff and had to ditch. The whole orange flight was uh, fucked with a uh, white AAA, yeah. Merlin had I to set it down in the field. Me and I another guy in blue got all the way back on one engine. Damn, that's pretty... That's pretty good. Yeah, I got out of the area and I was losing... I was trailing oil from my right engine, and suddenly, as I hit the valley, it started over revving like crazy. Like yeah, I it. it just went out. So, just feather close the radiator, and I mean, it will fly over. Things are. Just... I kept my left engine on 2900 RPM. Still doing like 230. I mean, the thing is, I mean, it's way made of wood, so. Yeah. It's crazy. Thank you, Peter. So, Dean Land Birdman. Yeah. You you? 100. There, there's a couple of slots uh, at Muppers if you want to go from there. That's my favorite skin, so. Oh, what is it? Is it. The American uh, one? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll grab one from there then. This video is heavily compressed. Yeah, it is. The stream? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Especially flying low like that is just, bro, it's so bad. And I have my. No, I, no, 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 no. The, the video. Oh, see. sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's extremely compressed. Oh, can you not read it? I can't even. No, I can't read. <laughs> oh, I sent it. I saved it from my phone and then sent it. I don't know. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, he opens the track file. He opens the track file and then he types forced in in the box. Wait, why? Why is his track file a video file? What is it supposed to be? A mission file? For me, it's just like a. You're going into your files from like um, your DCS open beta, like save games, DCS open beta, stuff like that, right? That's where you're going. And then you go to tracks, and you go to the track that you want, and you open it with 7 zip. And then you right click or you right click where it says mission, the white mission. folder. Go down to where it says view F3. Yeah. Left click that. Um, control or left control F. Then typed forced in there. Control F. Yeah, left control F. It'll bring up a little menu and then type the word forced. And then hit enter, and then it'll bring you down to forced options. And you gotta scroll down a little bit, and just go through each one of those. And like where it says like external views, and it'll be like options only map. You type in, yeah. Instead of only map, you type in all, and instead of false, you type in true. So where it says only map, you type in 
All. Just all. Just A L L. Alpha Lima Lima. Yeah. I'm taking 75%. Okay. Same. Request refueling. And if you Request want refueling. to see the battle damage assessment, like the little Copy. screen that pops up to show you who you shot down, you can turn on R B D A I. Okay. Yeah, and then once you do that, you go down to the white folder that says options, and that one's really easy because the first thing that pops up is all the options that you need. So you just, as soon as you click on that, you just go through all those options and change them. Yeah, you have to do both of them because they conflict. Okay, so the same things I changed? Basically, yeah. There's some that are different. Yep. Rearming complete. Alright, I'm ready to go, uh, surf. Yeah, just go ahead. Taxi. Very nice. My British traffic, Mustang taking off, runway 27. Alright, let's see if I can get this puppy fired up. You're really quiet for me, Viper. Oh, I said, should I post these in the, in the media? What are you talking about, screenshots? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I took gear damage. I knew I was hearing wind sound. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I'll just sniffle. <laughs> Not to call anybody out. I, I didn't want to say anything, but... What? Where? Huh? I don't know. Someone was breathing in the mic. I don't know who it was, but it's fine. Well, it's hearing it all the time. Sounds like somebody is. Outside. I think it's my BB. Y'all, uh... I'll change my microphone. <laughs> okay. This is really weird. My... Yeah. Okay. Can you check if my gears are down? Uh, oh, let me judging by the shadow, it looks like I only got one. Right. Oh, I think I have two actually. I think I'm good. It's just the light is saying red. If you order in the weekends in Norway, the two days is really. Delivery time brings it to five. <laughs> <laughs> if you order late Friday, it doesn't ship over the weekend. Yeah, I'm good. Well, my headset's been disconnecting a little bit, so I decided to just get a new one because I've had this one for the past eight years now. Seven, maybe. I'm just gonna. Time for a change. Yeah. I'm it's still doing the same. I really enjoy the HyperX headsets. They're extremely nice. I'm just grabbing a new one because it's quicker. Yeah. I'm circling now. So I got a Bluetooth headset now. 
But I'm gonna get a mic though, like a boom. Is it me breathing again? Because, yeah. No. Actually, yeah. Is it me? It was you. Yeah, it was me, but it's not anymore. No, no, no. Okay. It stopped when you said you were changing it? Yeah. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Just uh, to let you know, I, I can't be super active on comms. I'll be, uh, or at least not social. <laughs> but I'll be complete. active uh, in combat. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, the track sounds Unable to comply. Whatever. Request rearming. Copy. You want to call it there? I'll uh, see you guys later. See right. ya. See you, Wiper. Thanks for the flight. It was fun. Yeah, yeah it was fun. It was yep. great. Yeah, Burmans would just take lead. I'm uh, not Okay, I gotta wait for the repair. Or not the repair, the rearm. Yeah, I'll see you down there. complete. There we go. Well, Merlin, how did it? I heard him he got some damage and he headed home real fast and like before you even had the target? Or am I wrong? Uh, Merlin? He, yeah. he landed in a field. He, uh, he got one engine out and then on his way back the other engine cut out. Yeah, but did he even make the target, or was he hit by AAA? Oh, he, I'm pretty sure he made the target. Okay, yeah. I just got it wrong then. Alright, let's do this again. Hopefully, I don't mess it up again. My British traffic, Mustang, taking off 2-7. Wind noises now. Of course. Oh no, I was talking about my gear. <laughs> yeah, I got oh, it yeah. now. <laughs> so you go as well. Okay, I'm banking right. Yeah, I'm above you. Okay. Oh. Saw that one of the former super top Axis players is back. He's been away for yeah, maybe six, seven months or so. Who's that? Amazing. Oh, amazing. Yeah, he exploits the MW15. <laughs> well, technically, he's really good with it. It's, it's just that uh, it's almost impossible to catch. Unless you have altitude and, uh, yeah, surprise factor. Definitely do not want to get tangled up with him in any circling or whatever.
I think that's you off my nine o'clock and left hand bank. Yeah. I see you. I'll get closer. Oh yeah, there you are. I was looking down. Okay, no worries. I'll uh, follow up on you. Okay. I'll let you see us back. I'll see if you guys are still there. Say again? I'll let you see us again. Okay, I'll join you guys. And welcome, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, true. Is this your first flight with us? Uh, yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was. Slow down a little bit to let you catch up. Yeah, I'm catching up. It's a good day. I just love it. Slightly below it. I'm in between 40 and 45. Yeah. Is that a left? All right. So I should be looking for a bird. Mr. Bird. I know, wait, hold on. It's Sir VR and Birdman. Yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. Surf on Mobertus, if you want. Yeah. Uh, alright. Got it. It's been a long time since I flew this lady. Let's see. Well, I remember. Hold on. Sorry? Oh, you should be uh, able to fly it or catch up again, get used to it pretty quickly, yeah. I guess. Yup. And this is the uh, or, or pronounced the S in Marvel 2. I, I always leave it. I'm not sure what's the right one. It's uh, 
the real pronunciation is Beaubertus. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, hold on, let me see. Beaubertus, yeah. You don't say it. Okay. My supercharge is on. Belgium? Ah, uh, I'm from Belgium, yeah. Yeah, I read that somewhere. Somewhere in the chat. Yeah, in the, um... It's not that I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. There's not a lot of... It's not... The Belgian accent is not really... Uh, obvious. <coughs> okay. Sorry, I'm going full uh, near air, I guess. Yeah, just uh, took 75% for fuel and uh, have a belt of your choice. I got the H. Ah. Oh, I know 100% nothing of this shenanigan. API, like his armor bursting incendiary. Tracer, yeah, yeah 44. I do, I do strafing belts actually, I, I like those. Strafing with this, okay, let's go. Yeah, they're, I think they're all armor piece piercing and some there. They work really well against the one and nines, and the one below is a traceless belt, but I think it's still the same kind of belt, except no tracers. Okay. Alright, so, um, they set things on fire quicker. What I want. Uh, okay, well, I'm up there. Where are you guys right now? Climbing uh, east. Uh, we're going high. Uh, currently at 19,000. So we'll probably get up in the cons. Uh, you should find us, guys. Find us that way. In cons? Yeah, in contrails or up in, oh, yeah. Yeah, up in contrails. Call it cons or marking. Okay. And who knows, we might have a flight of bombers we need to ask for. Okay. I haven't done that in a while. It'll be so nice having an actual wingman if that does happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The problem is that it's mostly us and 332nd that do those, or organize those courts up high. So, yesterday we were on the wrong side. Oh yeah, I see. Here's up. Sometimes Slick Devil, I notice he likes to escort bombers and a couple other people that I can't really remember right now. Yeah, there are a few here and there, but it just kind of feels like they don't really Unless they know you, <laughs> or are in the squadron with you, they don't really go up there and I don't know why. At least not organize them. There's a couple of guys that do and they start something on SLS. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. You just have to be that instigator and uh, yeah, try to get people to follow. Yeah. It takes a bit of effort though, but it's fun with it. All right, I'm airborne. Yes. Confirmation. So my plan is to go east until we're like north of Evero, and then head south, and then west. Sounds good. Damn. 
south long high. Long way to go. Yes. That's when we took 75%. Damn. Okay. Alright, I think. Which you can see on the Sarah, are you guys uh, talking? If you are. Uh, combat is on Bravo. Traffic, yeah, all kinds of traffic, traffic calls are on Alpha. Okay. Uh, which reminds me, my SRS is working, I'll just. Uh, What is your climbing calculation? 27 RPM, 45 manifold, or 46 okay. if you want to be exact. Alright, thanks. Yeah, best climb speed is around 175. You good, uh, sir? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Back. I'm gonna continue my climb. Slightly. Still no SRS though, but I'll get to you then. Okay. Where do you find those qualifications? Oh, on the left here? Oh. Uh, no, that's not this. So where do you find them? Find what? The configurations. Uh, climbing, continuous, combat, takeoff, landing. There should be a chart. Oh yeah, uh, on your right shoulder. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to climb us up to uh, where we get 40 manifold pressure at when our throttle and RPM are locked. So that should be 30. Angel is 3 0. Right now it's 27.5 that we're at 4.0 on the manifold, but once we gain, gain some more speed, we'll be able to reach 30 at 4.0 on the manifold. The thing was with the Mustang is that you never really want to have a neutral merge. You always want to be higher or at a higher energy state. Exactly. Yeah. So getting up high first is really good for SA and for fighting the unfair fight, or let's call it a fair fight. <laughs> and I just genuinely enjoy these long high altitude fights. Like, yeah. Mustang is a jack of all trades, but it's definitely a high altitude fighter and definitely not a good knife fighter. Although it can knife fight. On the edge and just flying it perfect, and being a little bit crazy. Yeah. So if you want to go down low and fight, like in knife fights, you've got to do this with that. that or even the 47.
Okay, I'm gonna start leveling out. Get this manifold pressure to start coming up. If you find yourself in a raid fight or a turn fight with anybody and you're slow already and pretty much, yeah. Last option is flat, two notches of flaps and a lot of rudder work. Just keep that around 170 at a hard turn. And you can maybe outrate at a 109. That's if you're flying it perfectly. So it's kind of hard. I'm going to dial my throttle back to in between 35 and 40, but you can keep yours at uh, 40 or locked. Yeah. Your RPM? 27? 27, yeah. Southeast, long, high, heading west. Roger. Okay, let's go direct south. We should be over flak, and if not, they'll be on us for a very short period of time. Yeah, I'm doing a delayed turn here, so I'm turning inside now. Okay. Good morning. Roger. Eight zero wings level. Okay, uh, contact a ten o'clock, medium altitude, long range, heading west. I'm gonna keep these engine settings, but vector slightly towards him. Uh, oh, flak. Yeah. Oh man, it's close. You can hear it. This Southeast medium high heading southeast. I just used to be trap at 19. Emerald, can you uh, put the mic away from your nose, please? Yo. Thank you. I think it, it's just like uh, fixed in the position, and wherever I put it, it just like clicks back into that going position without me noticing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's annoying. It's, it's actually a, uh, I don't know if you were guys, you guys were talking about that, but it's a HyperX, I think. HyperX? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I still have Tally on this guy. Currently, he's off my 11 o'clock, heading west. Yeah, switch to left. One side. No joy. Okay, I am going to turn, I'm making left. I just want to put him off my right wing here. All right, I'm going to push throttle up, max power. He's changing direction. He's now heading southeast, it looks like. Yeah, Tally, I got him. Looks to be climbing. I'm backing left. 
Yeah. Okay. So off my two o'clock now, heading sled looks like. E yeah. Here. I'm gonna try and stay on his nine line. Yeah, I'll be, I'm switching back right side. Roger, I'm gonna I'll dive pretty go hard right here. Side. Just to get below this cloud. What is your uh, genetic position? He's climbing. That's good for us. I'm this on you, I'm staying on you. He went like straight vertical, not sure why. Oh, wow. What is your up? It's, uh, I think I'm red. Snow's on for me here. It looks like he's going away. Yeah. Yeah, it was on you, you're clear. Roger. I'm pulling lead to try and catch him. I mean, he's coming right. He's coming east. He just, he dove down, he dove down. Oh, yeah. I don't know, are we looking at the same guy? Yeah, I see the same. Okay. Same dude died diving now. Following, I'm following him. Okay, I'm gonna go high, I'm gonna go high, I'm gonna go high. Yep, I'm climbing, he's climbing. I can drag him. He He's just doing a loop. I don't know. I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, he's probably trying to drag you down there. Maybe. He yeah, might be... Might be this guy's either really smart or really dumb. Uh, I think he's smart though. Yeah. He wants to into that one. He wants to get. Well, uh, we, we have two of us, so let's follow him. Yeah. That's good. You know what? Right. Hey, I'm gonna Where left hand. I'm gonna take some shots here. Get up. Stay high. I missed. I'm climbing. Is on you. I got the bandit here. Roger. Yeah. I might have a shot if he falls here. He's following. Yeah. Did you overshoot? I'm above him, yeah, I wasn't even behind him, but I'm uh I'm up and over diving in now. Roger. I lost visual on him. Tally. Yeah, he's coming left. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Yeah, he's uh, diving again. He wants to send that. That's amazing. I know him. It's yeah, I was thinking it good. might be him. Stay high. Uh, is he climbing? Or he's is climbing then out, yeah. He I don't see him. Is either. he behind you or is he in front of you? No, he's uh, off my nine low. Nine low, Roger. No, no tally. Oh, I see him, I see him. Yeah, he's coming up on, uh, still below you. Now yeah. Going down again. Um, I'm diving with him, he's going down. Yeah, copy. Yeah, one's gotta stay high. I'll, be, I'll stay high this time. Okay, I'm high yo-yoing now. Yep, again dragging him into the vertical. He's gonna go back down if he does the same thing that he did last time. I'm following him. He's good, but predictable. Yeah. That's until he gets on your six. Yeah, I feel like that's what's gonna happen when we get down all the way to the deck. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. I can take some shots out of here. Okay, pulling up. I don't have visual on him anymore. No, I'm right above you somewhere. I'm quite low sec my air surfing right. Roger. Both. Right over the river. Okay. Oh yeah, I see you. I'm east of you. In a right hand bag. I'm just gonna let him go. Okay, I see him again. He's popped up below the first cloud or above the fir first cloud layer. Yeah, I see one of you. Yeah, I think that's him, yeah. First cloud there is hard deck unless we're both there and we can both tag. Uh, I agree. He 
heading west? He's heading west. Yeah, about seven back. I'm off his nine high. I'm off his nine, off. slightly higher than him. I'm on an intercept path, he's diving. I'm not gonna follow. Unless you're close, are you close? No, I'm, I'm close, but I'm high. Okay, I'm not gonna follow. Yeah, I don't do it, he's on the left now. Stay high. Hmm. I lost, I always lose visual when they go under my... Yeah, he's uh, going east now, below the cloud. Okay. Where are, are you guys right now? Uh, between La Harve and uh, Ruin. On the okay. River, pretty much. Okay. Okay, I see you. I'm just going to yeah, focus on... Stay patient with this guy. I'm just going to focus on regrouping with you for now. Yeah. Um, two contacts merged. One is a Spitfire. Okay, they're both Spitfires. One has his lights on. Altitude. My altitude is 17. They're at like 15. Yeah. So west of us or? West of us. West. Yeah. I'm heading east. I'm off your nine o'clock low. And there's a yeah. Spitfire behind me I with his lights on. Eyes on maybe you or Off my three o'clock, I see what kind of looks like a 109, but I'm not sure. Um, he should be off your seven o'clock low. Yeah. See that? It looks I'm like a 109. Back. Yeah, I'm uh, coming back for you. Okay. Take lead. Yeah, that's the 109 for sure, because I see two Spitfires behind me. Turning right. Okay. Roger. I'm on an intercept path for this 109. Or it's a Spitfire, but I... Eh, well, it might be a Spitfire. We need to find out, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Spitfire. Lights on. Okay, I'm climbing. I see you. Dialing my throttle back. Alright, let's continue east. Actually, let me check fuel. No, let's go back west. Let's go, like, southwest from here. We can fly back on 20 gallons <laughs> to England from here. Yeah, I know. It's just, um, this is usually the fuel level. I, I usually have way more fuel at this point when I'm going towards yeah. Argenton. So, I'm comfortable with going there now. Because this. Uh, medium, medium, heading east. Roger. About now is when I'm like at like 20 gallons in my fuselage tank, usually, if I'm at 100% from England. I do, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna head pretty much straight towards Argenton. Wow, I see someone off my... What is that? Seven o'clock? I don't see him anymore because of this cloud, but I saw him like kind of low altitude heading east. No factor, but it's pretty crazy that I saw him. between 40 and 45 on the manifold. I really don't see anybody. 
you know where you are. Yeah. I'm south of the Av. Okay. Uh, what altitude? Around 5,000 meters, I think. Or feet. It's feet. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're way up there. We're um, above the second layer now. Okay. Top layer of clouds. Yeah. I start my engine because I, I wanted to change fuel tanks. But Oh wait, hold on. South, medium, high, heading west. Perfect. I'm gonna adjust course slightly. I have a small issue, my starter switch is switching off. Like your, your starter switch? It should be covered. The one with the red cover on it? Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's covered. Yeah, good, it's good. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, something off my 11. It looks about probably medium altitude, long range, either heading north or south. It might be under your nose, just yeah, like off, right off the left part of your nose. Might have to lean over a little bit. I'm crossing behind, switching sides. Roger. I don't think that's our guy that was called out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start leveling up. Gain some speed. Well, this guy is, looks like he's coming towards us. Or potentially he's heading north, uh, like northwest. He's, there's a cloud in between us now, so I can't see him. Yeah, the white moon now is probably staying below. Below the clouds? Cons, at least. Below no, cons? Below, below cons, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take us up to right below cons then, like 29. Yeah, there's two of us, so we don't need a crazy advantage. No, I mean, we will probably get down to about 20 feet if it's uh, if still medium. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's, yeah, let's drop below this second cloud layer. Only thing about that is we're a little bit more susceptible to flak, but... That's that, and we're over enemy bases, so you don't know really what's over or what's coming up. Yeah. I'm dialing my manifold back to stay in between 40 and 45. Okay. Okay, southeast, medium, medium, heading west. Roger. I'm gonna keep coming down here until we're below this cloud layer. So that's gonna be all for nine, pretty much. Oh, I think I see him actually. Eight o'clock. I'm gonna turn to intercept because we have speed. Pushing 55, 27. Actually, I'll go 29 on that. 29 RPM. Switching fuel tanks, 45 on the right, 60 on the left. Yeah, 
left to right. Tally. I'm staying on his three o'clock. Going lag pursuit now. He's nose on, he's nose on. Tally. Don't know if he actually sees us or if he's just turning. Bracketing left slightly. Roger, I'm climbing. Seems left to right for me. Full throttle. Yeah, he is going slightly left to right. Okay, I'm going back to pure pursuit. I think I might have misjudged that. I think he was going away from us. Yeah. I lost him. I'm staying with you. Okay. I'm heading 170. He's off my nose. Yeah, I got hey, it. Hey, Ruel. I'm going to climb just a little to get back my supercharger. Just pull back the ram air lever. Oh, right. Good, Good call. This is time. Okay, let's see where he's taking us. He's taking us south. I think he still has his fuel tank on. I'm catching him pretty quickly here. Yeah. Sting, lag. Roger. Still up high. Right. Say again? Low, are you right below the cloud yet? Um, I'm in between first and second. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you back. Supercharger trick is really useful. I need to start doing it more in combat. I always forget. I'm off for uh, five low. Roger. He's seen me. He's seen me. Doing a high yo yo, I'll come back down on him. Taking some pot shots. Yeah. High above you, you're clear. Got him. Nice. Yeah, you got him good. Yeah. <laughs> I usually don't set D9s on fire like that, but I got lucky that time. You can finish him off if you... Uh, no, he's going down. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I think he's dead. He actually... Yeah, I'm off. <laughs> he disconnected. Did GR links. No. Uh, uh, okay, I'm uh, 340 climbing. 340, I see you. I'm off your 12 high. I saw you, but where did you go? I saw you for a split second and then you disappeared. Yeah. Three four zero, you're heading. Yeah. I'm heading straight north. Yeah, I'll come north. I'm at Angel seventeen. Two thousand below you. I'll find you. That was so weird. I literally saw you and then I looked again and you were just gone. <laughs> oh, there you are. I'm up here three o'clock. Oh yeah, there we go. Roger. Got a friend that's down in the last moment. 
I'll, I'll come past you and resume lead. Yep. I'm gonna bank left, start heading west. I'm switching sides. Roger. Welcome back, Ruel. Sorry, I was really focused there. <laughs> I was I was reading your messages too, but I was just in my head. I wasn't responding. Glad to have you back, though. And I'm also glad to be back in the Mustang. I like the mosquito stuff too, but man, do I fucking love the Mustang. Uh, oh yeah, I see him. Uh, two two contacts, eleven o'clock, heading east in a loose formation, slightly lower than us. Yeah, no joy. I'll switch sides. Yeah. I'm guessing you're going for the pair. Um, yeah, it's two contacts in a loose formation. Right off my nose now. Yeah. Yeah, the mosquito raid is pretty good. I won't spoil anything for you, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Pushing up to 29.55. These might be Mustangs. Yeah, I see invasion stripes. Yeah, those are friendly. Dialing it back, 42.27. Coming right. Let's drop down a little bit in altitude. Switch left. I've got another singleton off my 130 to clock. Yeah, same with them. And uh, east, but looks like. Oh, yeah, I can. I think I see him. 
barely. Uh, I see multiple over P trap. trap. Yeah, that's all right. Once we get directly south of P trap, we'll head north and fly over there. Clear. I'm on low. It's eight o'clock. Okay, I see you. Yeah, your six is clear as well. <laughs> I can't wait. He's blind on me. He's your altitude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So we're in the blind spot then. Uh. All right. Um, I'm gonna drop a little bit of altitude and start heading north. Sixty hertz is definitely not my thing. It's not. I might have a little bit better spotting, but it's not worth it. I know JP flies on sixty hertz. Still have that singleton over a con. Over con? Yeah, there's some fighters too. There. I, I, I'm gonna just roll over and take a look. They're not. Or down there. Are they below between the first? Or be be between? No, no, they're below the second. I would guess they're around 15. Oh, yeah, I see them. Yeah, closing in fast. They look like they're kind of in a fight. Yeah, I think they're right. I'm staying max continuous. We're already very fast. Oh yeah, there's stuff going on over uh, Benny. Let's take a let's take a, a low altitude dive through Benny. Keep our speed up though. Trying to escort a bomber or a bombers, so. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> by myself. Been there, done that. And you know very well because you were a part of one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a party going on right now over there. I'm gonna level off here and then turn 90 degrees left. Yeah, this. My turn. I'm on your six now. Roger. Okay, tracer's three o'clock. Yep, okay, yeah. Something going on over there. I'm gonna dive over. Oh no, it's a Spitfire. A Spitfire's behind him. We'll leave him, he's fine. I'm just going to stay below this first cloud layer and kind of orbit over Benny, just to yeah, make I'll sure. I'll just stay trail here for like a combat or attack position. Roger. Spitfire is working on that 109 or whatever it is. Yeah, doing it like this, information is actually like the third Oh, like being in trail like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Take turns. Yeah. What book are you referring to? No, basically that 
if you're missing him, you'll just go through and I'll take over. Yeah, well, I, I, just, uh, I was just curious if there was, like, actually a book that you were referring that I could, like, read. Oh, yeah, I, I'll try to find it. I've seen him many places, actually. Okay. I think it's one of those that uh, Merlin posted. He did one of the... I'm not sure what that book is called. He actually posted the whole thing, so you'll find it. Okay. It's kind of ACM. Kind of old school book. Sounds like a fun read. Oh, yeah. I haven't I haven't read it all, but uh, there's some sections there that are really interesting. Yeah, I probably skimmed through it too. Seems like they got it under control. Alright, so now I'm just gonna fly east until probably Kaborg and then turn south maybe. And yeah, we'll... I would have done the same. Okay. I'm more left now going comments right now. Roger. Southeast, long medium, and west. Roger. This is single. He might be below that first cloud layer. No, oh. I see something 230, so exactly 45 degrees off our right shoulder. Uh, not right shoulder, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't. Yeah. Um, looks like he's <laughs> looks like he's heading north, higher than us. Uh, it looks like he's also climbing. Very very hard to see though, <laughs> so don't blame me. Oh. I mean, let's keep climbing. Yeah. Ah, no Joe yet. He's off my 230 still. Looks like he's heading north. Definitely faster than us, but that's no surprise. Oh, I lost visual on him. <laughs> yeah, no word. Oh, I see him again. Right, check for surprises. 12, 11, 10 looks clear. Yeah, you, you keep your head on a swivel because I gotta like really focus on this guy if I wanna. Yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll keep it there. Benefits moving. Yep. What about flak? Are we good for flak? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, I don't see him anymore, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to turn south. Yeah, I'll do a tag turn again, be late, so I'm going to switch sides inside the train. Roger. Charger kicked in. Do you have the Echo 19 sound mod? Yeah, I do. I love it. Have you had it for a while? Yeah, pretty much since it came out. I oh, would nice. Say. Uh, yeah. But, uh, six 
Mexico or something? No, maybe not. down low in the weeds. Probably. But to be honest, if I knew we were up here being a solo player, I would never go up there alone to try to find us. Yeah, me neither. Especially Axis flying oh like a 109 against two P51s. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I see something over Con. It was like below the first cloud layer, heading north. I saw it for a split second. Yeah, I'm gonna look east. Uh, I just don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay, I think I am gonna go direct west in a dive, like a shallow dive, and end up somewhere in between P Trap and Con. Uh, sounds good. Below the first cloud layer. Okay, WRS is clean. That's weird. No Maybe they took took out the uh, radar. Switching left. I mean, if you got any preference, which side do you want me on? Just let me know. Whichever side you can keep track of uh, bandits better is yeah. my preference. I'm gonna shoot for this gap right here in between the clouds. Oh wow, I see someone in that gap too, but probably friendly. He's not taking any flack. I lost the visual on him, he's under the cloud now. Continuous. Stable Max continuous, level now. Looking around, I don't see anything. Visual. Oh, it's just the voice pocket mission. Like August 25th or something? Oh, yeah. Okay, so definitely gonna be uh, southeast of us. Southeast of us? Alright. Yeah, I think Poka near Filet's there. There's a big, big, big like, battle going on there. Okay. There's a lot of ground targets from both sides. Turning southeast? And a lot of them are gonna be low. So. Roger that. Southeast from here. Straight. 
just check uh, the F10 real quickly, you'll see the the front line. If it kind of goes straight south and way east, or where it usually is, like that, then you know. Yeah, there's a huge pocket over Renai. Yeah. That's enemy controlled. Was it a Panzer Division or two? Your six is clear. Oh, green flare, green flare, uh, 1030. I have to zoom in to see it. I only see the flare, I don't see the actual... Same. Yeah, it's gone now for me, but I saw it. Looks like the targets are off our 3 o'clock ground targets. I see the red smoke over there marking some targets um, 12 o'clock. That's going to be near Argentina. Yeah. Your six is clear. Spread out a little. Okay, I think I see, well, I know I see an enemy airfield. I just don't know which one it is. How far, two o'clock? That's gonna be Rene off our two o'clock. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Rene. Can they land there and rearm? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, contact 230, climbing. Pushing up to 5529. I'm gonna cross on top of you. Roger. Looks like a Mustang from here. Yeah, I'd say that's a Mustang. I'm enjoying the low. Uh, I lost visual on him. He passed under my nose. He was lower than me. Yeah. Going left to right. But I saw invasion stripes, so we're good.
I think I see an aircraft uh, on the runway, 9 o'clock. Not the close one, but the far dirt one with the smoke coming from it. Yeah, you might be right. Switching sides again. Roger. Um... All right, I'm gonna do a sharp left-hand turn here. I still see him, he's right, right at the end of the runway. I don't know for sure if it's an aircraft, but. Remain there, it looks open. Roger. You are clear as well. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's been staying very still. So, I don't know what it is. Or did you see it on, on the ground? Yeah, on the ground. Can't wait, blind still, so... They must have taken that radar. Yeah. Target 2 right now, which is a strip along a train train track, I think. Oh, it's attack on bridges, that's what it is. What do you say, sir? Where should we go hunt? I'm kind of making sure we're not getting surprised right now. I don't really have a plan. I don't know where they are. I call out the patrol zones are saying go east for action, but we were over there. I guess we did find some action. Be a little risky to start climbing east from here. Um, well, I was thinking we would stay low. Yeah. I think maybe we can go up towards La Harve. Yeah. No. Um, wait, six o'clock, two, two dots. Yeah. Looks like they're chasing us. Um, I feel like the best move here is to do an Amelman up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doing that now. Okay, you're thinking a full loop. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Yep, leveled off. Got tally on one. I don't see the other guy. He's under this thin part of the cloud. Diving on his last known position. Tracers coming up at you. Oh wait, no. There's a uh, something behind you, but it's a Mustang. Dialing back the throttle. So that guy, three o'clock low, is taking tracer fire. So I'm guessing he's friendly. 
Yeah, they were. Uh, sure about my six was a Mustang. Um. Yeah, I saw his wings. They were very Mustang-like. Lost you, by the way. Right turn here. Uh, I should be off your nose. I don't see you either. I'm turning left. I'm going straight north, direct north. Oh, I think I see you. Oh, um, yeah, straight to fire on you, I think. Okay. Making right. Making left. That might have been someone else. I should be in front of you under your nose off your right side. Yeah, because you just dipped your nose. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, off your 230. Slightly lower. Yeah, I got you. Mission ending in 20 minutes. Oh, uh, two contacts. Are those balloons? Yeah, balloons. Clear, I'm off at seven. One contact, four o'clock, heading our way, but it could be a Mustang. Let me think. It got a northeast times two now. Oh, it's northeast times? Yeah, that's oh. high one, medium, both southwest. Southwest? Okay, there's something directly off my... 12 o'clock. They're heading southwest. Yeah. There, there's one directly off my 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's Holly. Pushing up to... Uh, right turn? Yeah, 29.55. Northeast, high and heading southwest. Hmm. Okay. Well, then this guy is probably friendly. So, I'm going to start climbing. Yeah. You're long six now. I'm going to keep these high power settings. I'm just going to double check that that guy is actually friendly once he... Uh, okay, I'm going to turn left. Head north towards La Havre. Yeah, I'm still below the cloud, but I'm uh, coming left. Okay. Southwest near medium heading southwest. I'm with you. Southwest near medium heading southwest. Okay, I'm gonna do a split S down. Let's do it. Oh wow! I came under the cloud and I see one, two, three, four aircraft. Left turn now. Yeah, this guy off yeah, my nine good. is a Mustang. There's three aircraft in front of me, but that's not near. That's like it's got to be medium. Okay. So now right side. now. Um, looking. That's one or nine. Yep. It's climbing. Yeah. Oh, I'm, coming I'm gonna go in the cloud a little bit. Yeah. He's gonna follow me up. Should I stay up or what? No, you can come down. Okay. Yeah, a few hits. Nice. He's slow, I'm off. I'm now heading west. It's on me. Trying to catch me. I'm coming down. I see green chasers. Are you, are, are you diving? Uh, no. I see him. I see him. I see him. He's diving. Yeah. Did you just roll over and dive? Yeah. No. I'm okay. Still I see multiple bandits here. <laughs> yeah. I see 
That's a lot. He's super slow. Okay, I'm going after one that's climbing. Are you? Is he still behind you? Uh, I don't know. I'm at the cloud now. I'm in the right turn. Roger. I got hits on one. He's oil leaked. Yeah, I had hits on him. So okay. Stopped. Looks like. Another one, okay, yeah, lots of P-51s here doing work, good work. Yeah, I'm coming down, I see one of you at least. I'm gonna try and finish this guy off. the guy going east. He's trailing black smoke. Good hits on him. Pulling up. He bailed out. Or he popped his canopy. He's got his gear down. And he bailed out. And he disconnected. At least he bailed out first. Oh my god, look at that! Six aircraft. Mid-air collision, I think, maybe. Yeah, my guy, he just uh, he ditched. That was it. Roger. Are you, are you clear? Is there six clear? No, I'm down low now. It's all the white smoke. I'm right where that was. Yeah. Roger. So I'm more ground fire shooting. I'm behind a one or nine right now. Lighting him up. Yes. Yeah, I think I see. I'm sure the guy venting. Um, no. The what? The P51 is venting. I... Oh yeah. I see. Trying, okay, now the 109's venting, I think. Yeah, the other guys. I'm on reserve ammo, so it's tickling him, but not doing anything else. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here then. Heading west. Uh, are you turning left? And diving? I'm diving now, turning left. He's yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah. I'm passing yeah, over you? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. He's gonna be behind me somewhere. I got hits on him. I, I'm climbing out to your left. To your left. I want to just RTB at this point. Yeah, but we've got some guys over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yep. coming. Here's, here's out of range, six. out of range. I'm gonna drag him if you wanna slot in behind me and get him. It's, uh, so yeah, he's still falling. Roger. Come left, come left a little. Left, coming left. Oh, he's going right, he's turning off. Yeah, he's off. Okay. Yeah, he's breaking hard right, he's looking at me now instead. Okay, I'm turning. Copy, thanks. Uh, what target are you guys hitting? It's below my 3 o'clock now. Okay. Yeah, You're diving? Uh, I'm diving, okay. high six. He's climbing high. Make the slashing attack here on him. Roger. Missed all shots. Through. Visual. I'm, high. I'm west of you. Yeah. You got something uh, east of you, maybe? I'm dragging him northwest now. Okay. Yep. Yep. Keep going this way. Straighten out. I can drop down on him. Yeah. He's on. Yeah, I'm dropping down on him now. I just gotta wait till I get past him. Okay, dropping. I'm on him. Oh, 
Yeah, he's off. I see that. Yep. Shots. I'm just gonna extend away. Yeah, I'm coming back in. He doesn't have the energy. He doesn't have the energy to stay with me. I, I saw him pull AOA like that, and I could just tell he was yeah. slow. I'm on his sights, coming back high again. Okay, I'm in for some shots. Yeah. I'm you guys coming up now. It's energy. It's nice, yeah. good shit. That's oil. Clear when we finish this guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh. I'm clear. Get going high. Well, honestly, it's still flying because he's a one and a half. He's got to be cooking his engine. He's going to go down, I think. Oh, no, he pulled up. He pulled up. I'll just stay. I'll lag him. Let him cook his engine. Come on, dude. Nice. Trying to make a run for it now. He is? No, I'm done. Like he's trying to make a run for it? Oh yeah, I see you guys. More heads. Yeah, he's burning out. Nice, beautiful. Bail out, dude. Give me a fucking kill. <laughs> he's I'm just uh, Oh yeah, he bailed out. Yeah, perfect. Nice. You look clear. Okay. I don't see anyone else. Yeah, I'm turning right for west. Roger. Getting out of here. That was fun. That was a good sortie. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Well, we're still not in the clear here, so. You above me? Um, I'm pretty far west now. Yeah. I am just east of P-Trap. Oh. Hey, Merlin. Merlin. Surprised to see you on set. Surprised to see me on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, I was, uh, I had uh, a couple hours here. Are you behind sleeping? And, uh, yeah. She's just being the calmest, nicest baby. At least for the last couple of days. And she sleeps, and the mother sleeps, and everybody's happy. So, this is my last review, though. <coughs> okay. I just uh, fought a couple of, maybe three or four, one and I, right now, didn't I? Yeah. It was a nice little fur ball. Classic, stay high, go around the map, don't find anything, pounce maybe one or two, then join the fur ball. Well, that's a lot of fun, actually. Good. Let's see if we can make it home. Yeah, I was watching a Birdman stream there uh, a little bit. On the muscle mission. Ah, cool. Looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good. It's cool to get more people in it as well, because it's such a good aircraft. It is, yeah. I understand why some people don't like it. I, really, like, I get it, but I love it. Why would well, it? I would be affected. What would be a good reason to not like it? Uh that it's by far the least capable air-to-air -air aircraft in the server and I get that air-to-air -air is like most people's thing yeah um, 
but treating it like a pure fighter is not using it to its strengths. For me, it's just an it's it's an exclusive uh, only in groups type of aircraft. I would never fly it solo. Yeah, I think that's a good strategy. Well, you looked good for about an hour and a half before it went down. <laughs> How many were you actually? Were there eight or ten maybe? Uh, there were ten mosquitoes and five escorts. Yeah. Weirdly enough, on this mission we haven't had any for the last half hour, like really bad radar coverage. So it doesn't make sense. I wonder really. if they attacked it. Yeah, they must have. Because we were just like south of Harbor right now and uh, yeah there was nothing. We were told we were too high like many times over. Or too low I mean. Although we did get a few call outs here and there but they were not consistent at all. Right. Benny traffic Mustang inbound from the south. And I found uh, Amazing is back. That 109 pilot. <laughs> and I think we engaged him actually, or met him in the air and was doing weird, weird uh, loops. <laughs> well, we, Sounds uh, like him. Yeah. I'll uh, take off quickly from Creekville and I might catch you guys. The server's about to end. Oh, oh is it? Okay. So what, what's your target again? Like earlier today? Uh, Bernay and Broly. Okay. I kind of got the feeling you diverted or something. We did. Wasn't we were initially going to hit Lon Rye. Okay. God, the 51 feels so squidgy on the ground now. Yeah, it does. I like it. I do too because it forces you to uh, taxi in like a more realistic way. Yeah, you can't just... It's not a go-kart anymore. Exactly, yeah. Oh, I'm past calm. Wow. Oh, well, 30 gallons left. I never thought I would actually empty my. Or seventy five percent. We've done it before. Yeah, weirdly enough when <laughs> Berman he feels light. Like he was like, Oh, we're low on fuel, we have to turn back west when we're like <laughs> where were we? Ruin or something? Yeah, I mean I just I'm too used to hundred <laughs> percent. You're used to having a hundred percent. But I, I mean, think one day we should try with... The, oh, no, we don't have bags on Project Overlord, actually. We were kind of low coming back to base. I mean, I was. I was out of fuel on my right wing, and then I had, like, 15, I think, in my left. Yeah, I think I'm just flying a little bit more impatient than you. These days, at least. Well, I mean, you got a lot going on with your life, so. No, yeah, it's just uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm. I usually like to fly the long hauls and just stay up there and be in control. But I mean, it's 
do different things right now, flying the Anton and stuff like that. So a little bit of impatience, obviously, I guess like that, you know, after you've flown for a while. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming up at a rocket rail here. What's the next mission after this? It's the 14th of August. So June 3rd. Be there. The pre-invasion one. Okay, well, I think that's going to be our last one. Then I don't really feel like doing the June 3rd mission. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. That's a robot, looks at things.